I'm saying more and more what he told Carl. When you owe somebody, that's going to carry you where you would or not. Signify you getting ready to leave him. Isn't that right? Y'all all right? Did y'all learn anything though, Lano? Yes, sir. Appreciate you here. I tell you, um, I know a lot of people don't like me, fight me, hate me. But, you know, in the end of the day, I want to tell people, you, you do this. You live right. Don't waste your time on me. You live right. And you, if you got it and you're on the right path, you pray for me. That I'll get to understand that you claim I don't have. That I'll be saved that you claim that I don't possess. Because I'm going to do what the man gave me to do. Yes, I'm going to live. Could die separated. Ain't gonna be no beer drinker, wine, no drunk, cigarette smoker, no woman chaser. Ain't that right? right. I'm, I'm gonna be performing the duty. He done committed my trust. You, if you say you're doing right, you go ahead and do right. He gonna prove it all out. That's right. I, one thing I ain't trying to do, I ain't trying to prove myself to everybody. Ain't that right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the work. You who are gonna prove out the rest of it. Yes, if you're doing the work, and he'll tell you, he'll prove out the rest of it. I don't spend my time trying to prove myself to people. Like people that go try to debate people to prove. I ain't got to debate nobody now. All I do is just put it down. Though that's all of him, they're going to hear a word. Though they're not, you're going to do what you've been doing anyway. Right. Ain't that right? I got my mind set on one thing. I got to be saved at the end of the day. And whatever it takes to get there, whatever I got to do, whatever I got to turn away from to do it, that's my goal. Y'all yes, right. hear me? I'm anticipating his appearance. With me, I had to keep myself in a readiness. Right. Always willing to transition, whatever I got to do. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. So these are the things that I'm trying to look at. Let, let, let me see something right quick. We, we, we'll start here in this Romans 15 and 4. See how it go. Appreciate you Hua, for everything. Always, he's he, he been so tube to it. Better, I don't know, it, it need to be a word better than tube. It need to be something better than good. Woke up this morning, y'all seen that cloud I sent y'all, they was showing that dog cloud hanging down. Y'all know what y'all were told about it. The book said he bowed it down, he coming down. That's what he did for, y'all don't realize, that's what he did for Simon Gomorrah. He said he gonna go down and see what it was so. There's been a lot of accusation made. Yahuwah coming down to see if it's so. Mm -hmm. That's what he told him. He said, I don't heard about it. He said, I'm going down to see. That man done bowed the Shamaim down there, people. He's talking about a strange appearance. That's what they do to people who don't know. I ain't mad at them people that report it. Why, why would you know? He ain't reveal it to you. You're not one of his Abedin. Y'all hear me? This is something we all better consider. I'm telling y'all, listen. Man, you got to start making some preparation quick to make sure you're right. Everybody. Man, I, I miss I, I pull out the same thing. I told y'all why. Because that's what I want. You hear your kid talking from January the first about it, he want a G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. All the, then come all the way to July, G.I. Joe the Kung Fu grip. September, it's G.I. Joe the Kung Fu, October, November, G.I. Joe the Kung Then you gonna come in and you gonna bring him a six million dollar man. He said, what you doing? <laughs> well, I thought that what you, you could have thought that what I wanted. I've been talking about it all year. That's all I've been talking about. He already know what I want, because that's what I keep asking him for. I want him to keep us. I want to make sure we, I want to make sure I was hard, it, with, even with the shower, all of us. That, that's something I can say with us. I want to make sure I would love our mind, our heart, be ever so tender. Mm -hmm. You got to have a tender love and a tender love, a tender love of the mind, tender love. And I realize that because you'll be hard, hard in your way and you'll keep going and you won't consider that your love got to be tender. Because mm -hmm. he said, change direction. Go this way. Move. You just got to be able to transition. Some people say, I can't stop. I'm, I'm too far <coughs> gone. And like, he said, that's dangerous. You got to be able to stop. Got to be to heal. Got to be to conform. Got to be to transition. Same way y'all got to do. That's right. It is. A lot of folks, they're saying, oh, I'm trying to change. You got to keep yourself. What he said, and having a readiness. Right. Having a readiness to it. That means it can come up at any time disobedient. I got to be re I got to keep myself ready. When it come up, I got to tear it down. That's right. Having in a readiness. And that, that's already ready to defend. You think when they tell them so to be in a readiness, that means keep your weapon, what, four miles from you? Throw your boots away and leave your pack, your backpack unpacked. Man, in a readiness, you listen, you got ready to go in a minute, in a second, any time something can kick off. He said, that's how it happened to come to you when it comes down to you defending against the opposition, which is sin. You have to have in a readiness. Well, it's impossible. He said, offense gonna come. See, when he tell you, like, I think sometimes when we're given certain things like um, words like keep my commandments. I think sometimes people might take it from a different perspective. For them, they look at, when you look at it, they look at more as guarding, protecting it. That's what you're doing, you're protecting it to make sure nothing come against it or deframe it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people give you something to, kiss, uh, to keep it and you'll lose it or misplace it. <clears throat> but when you're guarding it, 
know what I'm saying? You're on a constant watch to make sure nothing happens to it. And sometimes I think if we change kind of the way we look at things, then you'll get a different performance about what you're supposed to do. When he give you that mark, when he tell you to keep it, I want you to guard it. Because some going to come to try to take it from you. What, a, what is the what guy that dribbled the ball down there, uh, dribbler, what they call him? What that, what that mean? Y'all ever y'all play point guard? What that mean when somebody walk up on you, you're supposed to get you say, oh, here you go. You play, what, that, what that mean? Well, so, let me say something about for a second. I'm just saying, so, like, what you would be doing, you point guard? So if I come like this right here, what you no, put? No. Hold on, hold on. But you, so what you put? No, what you do? No, so what you dribbling? No, 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 no. So what about if I go back here? What you, no, no, no. what you, what you, what what you doing? Because yeah. you probably be guarding it. You sit there and make it. Hold on for a minute. What you say, Justin? I'll let you stole. That's dangerous. He said he said, "Dang, I let you stole." <laughs> right. But 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 y'all understand that from the premise of that's when you're getting the ball, you know. And what and what would your coach say if if I if I came on there like that and I just got the ball? What did he say? Well, stuff like that happened. What did he say? He gonna be pissed in it. Cause he'm like, what you doing? What what would the purpose? What would you doing? Y'all know that's what, so. Think about that in that scenario. Y'all people that basketball fan, how many people basketball? You see the point guard just take the ball to guard and he just get a ball up. What you thinking? Well, I mean, come on. You thinking it clumsy, stupid joker? What is he doing? Think about this. What is he saying about us? <clears throat> What's he saying about us when we let Saint come in yeah. and the front and come in and take it from him? Yeah. What he saying? Well, I mean, come on. That's all you can do. It's, it's just a, what he probably saying. It's just a game. Cause that's amazing. It's just a game, but we lose it. We lose it on the pole. We lose. Man, trade that Joker. What is he doing? You're like, what is he doing? What about when he shoot? You know what I'm saying? He shoot the basket. Him. And he shoot and that thing go over him. What we say? He got, he got, we say, you know what? He'll next time he'll get it. Ain't that what we say? What we holler? Get, you said for a shot? So let me ask y'all a question. What is your who's saying when we miss? Because that's what sin means to miss. What is he saying? It's just, a, no, don't worry about it. It's a game. I mean, you're going to miss. Sometimes you are going to miss. Because you got to think about it. Could he possibly be looking at, man, that's amazing how you grade that. That guy took the ball and you say get rid of him. He ain't no good. That guy shot and he completely missed the basket. And you say, man, trade that joker. It was up to me. I throw out something like some people say, I take all his stuff out of the locker and throw it in the street. <laughs> some of these guys take it real personal. <laughs> they, like, they were like, man, I'm telling you, they'll chase him off the court. You know what I'm saying? And people like that lose about that. So this, which is, this had nothing to do with their salvation, correct? So let me ask a question. So how is he looking at us when we miss? When this is this 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 the mark, and you done shot all the way over here somewhere. What is he saying? I mean, we're close. You could tell they tried though. Well, do we ever say that about a uh, about a point guard? What about when it come down to the last seconds? What about it come to the last second? What are we really thinking? What are we really saying when they shoot and don't miss? Or if they get blocked, what are we saying? Oh man, what are we say? Oh, uh, you said we really hot. I'm confused. Why are we hot then? It's crucial. Why is it crucial? The last set. You talking about it's in the last hour? So what you who is think about us? What do you think about us? Because this the last hour. We getting blocked. <laughs> we missing. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? Everything on the line? What is when that last? 1.3 seconds. When you get the ball, how long you got to think about it, Justin? So as soon as you get the ball, what got to happen? What's expected? If 50 fit expected? You agree with that? <clears throat> so what is he what does he possibly think about us when this the last hour, this the last shot you got, and you miss? You know what other teams thinking? You know how much money we pay you to make that shot? You know how much money, when we signed that contract and we gave you that contract for $50 million for five, whatever, do you not know certain things we expect you to do? You're expected to give me so many points. Per, they don't just say, oh, you agree with that? Hey, here go $150 million for 10. No, we're expecting an average of, we're expecting you to get us two. We're expecting the last thing, when we give you that ball with the inbound, I don't care if it's 2-3 on you. We're expecting, we pay that guy a lot of money. 
we pay this guy a lot of money. So when they got choked, we really pissed. They were saying, but people, I mean, okay, we pay you a lot of money. You should have been practicing for this. So when I'm saying that, and these are just a game, <clears throat> what is he thinking about when we're doing the real thing? It's tight. So you got to really look. There's a lot of people y'all need to apologize to. A lot of y'all, I ain't going to call your name. A lot of y'all need to go and drive and pick them people's stuff back up out the expressway <laughs> and bring it back in and stack their locker back up. <laughs> that contract y'all, I ain't going to call your name. You know who you are. <laughs> Get some glue and tape and put them contract back together. And somebody said, listen, man, I'm sorry. A lot of y'all need to apologize for telling them guys, listen, don't worry about it. And then they've been traded, all this stuff, and just throw it out there. They, then they can't get on the bus. When they come get on the bus, some of y'all don't say, hey, where, where you going? Like, where, no, you're not on this. This is for the team. <laughs> some of y'all need to. Y'all know who y'all are now. I'm not mad at you. Because I know we human. But I mean, think about it though. You see how Yahuwah set us up though? Yes, sir. He set us up with everything. Just like Chris played football, and he know the people, I know other people have too. So let me ask you So let me borrow you for a second, Chris. Let me borrow you for a second. Now, now, did you play quarterback or did you play linebacker? What, what position did you play? Receiver. Receiver. So receiver, pretty much. So well. So if I throw the ball, what you, let me see your hand. What you put? So I throw the ball. What you put to do? Catch it. Catch it. Right. So hold your hands up. So now hold up a little high. You can. So I throw the ball and, and that thing do like that. Is this my fault? <laughs> <laughs> the reason he's thinking about it because he had to really kind of think about it, it's going to depend. It did not. Yeah, and what it's going to depend on. What what are, what are they gonna look at? Well, they say. They say. If it touch your hand, it's supposed to catch it. That's all I was asking, and that's virtually, really not your fault. Right. But let me see your hand again. Let me see like I said. But if it it it, 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 it go across him, it's supposed to catch it. And I'm talking you say you don't jump though. Right. You jump to get it. Hold your hand again. You don't jump high. You can't. And that thing. Do that number down. And when it did, and the ball flicker, so it showed, because this one thing it don't show, it like it kept going. When that thing, done, and you can see the ball change direction. What are they thinking? They're going to blame the quarterback. Nope. Who they going to blame? Receiver. That's good. Y'all ain't going to believe it. A lot of y'all don't realize, you got, when it's there in your, in your, um, yeah, in your grass, when, it, when it's there, in a certain area put, you re, you're required to get it. That's your man, you're required to get it. Yeah. And see, they don't look at you, who and how he give you things. A lot of things, you got to look at putting things inside your read. It's your opportunity to come and grab it, to get it. A lot of times we sit back and we want things babysat right here. And have, like, you know, you play like a little bit of kid in the bar. Yeah, somebody smell in the bar for a second, though. So let me just say, so just say like, if you train and yes, you how to play football, and say somebody smile, I'm just using him and something smile him. You want to throw, you get, you you do like that, you you hand the ball right here, yeah. try to play him because you like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to put too much on him. Yeah. How many of y'all know you get? You tell say hold your hand like this. Yeah. Then that how you get, and you and you throw it so easy, to make sure it fall right in his hands, because you're getting it built up till you get him to a position where you can start kind of throwing it to him. Yeah. Oh, and then you tell him back up some. Then he got to start to change and look at this is how he's looking at you. This is this is you. You grown and you still this is how you still trying to catch like this him. And then throw it, bounce off your chest and hit the ground. That's good. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Man, put the check on that. But you know. <laughs> if we can please not get confused to think because you're you, for example, you my friend. <laughs> what is that extra breathing for? <laughs> Thank you. Get my pen, Joker. And God, you tripping. But that's how that's that's something that we don't think about. But Yahuwah put this right inside your grass. He put it right inside your understanding. And to be honest with, we drop it every time. We look at it. I mean, it's just time for us to start transitioning. <clears throat> start looking at it. We're at the end of the game now. He don't put the ball, like they said, typically, they said the figures, it's in your court. Who went if it down to like 
1.3 seconds, 2.4 seconds, and you got the ball, you're down by two. Ain't that what you want? <laughs> or you want the other team with it? No, two, what, what happened to the other team? You, I don't have a chance. Right. But if I got it, and we got 2.4 seconds, 1.8 seconds, whatever, I'm, at least I got a chance. So we're going to do what? We're just going to just give me the ball and we're going to shoot. We're going to sign. We're going to let's talk about it. Let's strategize how we're going to do it. Let's strategize how we're going to do this, how we're going to make the play. Right. We anticipate what they're going to try to do because they anticipate what we're trying to do. Right. So we know we ain't got but one chance to do this. Right. Probably 1.3. I need somebody on that board. <laughs> I need somebody on that board. What y'all think? Yes, I want everybody to crash that board. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happens, crash that board. Yeah. Isn't that right? If I got to be out, that's beyond because I ain't got that time. You ain't got time to put it on the ground. Right. Would y'all agree? With probably 1.3. Y'all think you got time to put the ground? It's gonna be, it's gonna be dialed. It's gonna be dialed, and it gonna be gonna be dialed and it got to be gone. With that, that's, uh, you done. It better be in the L. That's right. So, guess what happened? When we hear that right now, he coming back. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna believe it. When we all hear that so far, when you hear the shofar sound, you ain't gonna believe it. You are gonna have to have something in the L. Yes, sir. That's the only way it gonna count. Right. In a line, it no, ain't gonna count if I'm right here. No, Where it gotta be? Yeah. Y'all ain't gonna believe it when you who will come back here. You ain't gonna believe it, Daniel. Everybody here, we're gonna have to have it in the L. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you still stuck down here, you're in trouble. You gotta be in the L. Hello? Yes, I don't know, just something to think about. You ain't got to now. See, he'll let you watch and use stuff and just see how clever really are you. Yep. That's all really he do. He just wants to see how clever you are. A lot of us we don't realize he watch you, how you anticipate, how you wait, and the things you go through and do. And so I just want to see they catch on and see how they serve me. Yep. So we'll put our whole heart into things like that. You don't see how things all play a part. Y'all say it all plays a part. Y'all got it? Okay. Let's just try to say. So this is Romans 15 and 4. Y'all know we start here for a foundation. Listen. For whatever Nika taught before. So what part we exempt? Nothing. That's it. Whatever. That's always remember that, young people. Whatever. Whatever was written before. Isn't that right? It's all of it. That's inside your grasp. So you, need, you need to pay attention to that. Whatever was written before. Nika Tab, Telomitus. That's the only reason with that. To teach us, to show us, and to instruct us. So remember that. Through that. endurance. That's so, so they're going through and not quitting. That's the only you're going to go through and don't quit. Like y'all keep going in with a plan, and your plan ain't working. A lot of times people quit. Instead of going back and trying to re strategize. That's why if it's something I find that wrong, I ain't finna quit. I'm just let's go back and re strategize. That's what it's here for. I mean, it's him for correction. It's him for instruction and doing right. So why would I quit? They said, look at that. Ah, oh, you were wrong. Yep, I got to quit. Well, why would I just go back to the manual? I put stuff together before and realized I, I'm missing something. I got too many parts. I don't go. I don't know. I said, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this thing. It don't even make sense. It don't even go. Ahead. And then you go back and look at it. So you say, oh, my goodness. I missed that. Get, get, uh, rather than throw the whole thing away. Have anybody did that, put something together? And you look at you saying, I don't know where this go. Mm-hmm. This don't even... This don't even make sense. And you wait time, you, start, you go look back at that thing you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. You realize, you know what you got to do? Take something back apart. Because right. you were going, and you know, he looked at what that, that is, 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 is similar to Roman the 10th chapter when he said his heart desire for Yasharal was that we might be saved. He said, for we had a zeal. That's what people do. Sometimes people say, I know how to put things together technically. He said, but it ain't according to Sadiq. Right. The right way is the way that man you were setting up. He said, because they mean, what was it? Ignorant. ignorant. You just didn't know. That's why you said, and because you're ignorant, get what you man, throw this away. <coughs> you ain't going to believe how it worked with Yahushua when he came. Because it was people that had a zeal. So when they saw him, he, we really know where he fit. Kind of like the stone that was disallowed. Because we didn't know where he fit. It was similar to putting something, to, we had been putting things together, but we really weren't paying attention to the manual. So when he came, you said, I don't know where this junk go right here. Just get rid of it. It don't make sense. But when we went back to the manual, get what we found out. Take all that stuff down that you put together and then just put it together right right now. That's what he did. Modify. There was some stuff we had to kill out in order to Think about it. When we were serving under the, um, under the name under the uh, aptitude of Yahushua. I mean, Jesus. I mean, did we just change names and keep going? You see how we had to, we had to it wasn't just as easy as, really? Everything right, we just, just changed the name. No, we, had, we realized there's a lot of other things you had to start transitioning over to. You had to start transitioning to days and how you did things. It, it was more transitional because we start looking at, 
I mean, because we had already established with Sunday. A lot of things we had already established. And that was in our right. Because we were ignorant of his right. So we really realized with the manual how things went. And a lot of things start with the dietary law. Mm-hmm. And we said, well, we just got the dietary law. I said, it's, it's some more stuff, too. You can't insert one. You gotta, it's a lot of things you had to, because once you get here, you start like, it's some other things you got to start putting in here, too. It's some other things you got to disassemble. There's some other things you got to reassemble. Isn't that right? There's some other ways you got to start, how you got to start formatting things. But we missed it. And that's what happened. Like a lot of times what people say, well, you know, we, 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 keep this, we keep the Sabbath. And when they tell you that, they're saying it for a reason. We don't do everything else. They're hoping that when they say they keep the Sabbath, that's enough that you'll go for it. But I know certain things you say you emphasize on, it tell me some other things you're not doing. That's right. Yeah, I got it. I'm that's just telling right. y'all, that we're, we're going to continue to transition because that's how it's designed to happen. But the, the way to go through here and not quit, because people say, you should quit. You don't have to change from this to change that. I'm not quitting nothing. All this show, I'm inside the operation. That's right. Because if I'm doing it, how, <clears throat> am I changing because of me? I'm going to change because he said that's what the scripture was given for. I don't know why would I be quitting. That means I'm not properly learning how to use the word. The man would have told me for that whatever written the fourth time, it was written to show me, to teach me, and to instruct me, not for me to instruct that. So that I can go through with patience without quitting. And he fell asleep in the coon. I know it's a, it's a reward in me doing this. That's what Shaul would say. He said, if I do it willingly, I got a reward. I had to consider that. He said, are you forced to do this? No, so I want to do it. He said, well, you got a reward. He said, I'm trying to tell you now, that's it. I'm doing it willingly. That's how I get my reward. Mm-hmm. When Yahushua told you no man take your life, yeah. you didn't know why he told you that? Because there's no reward in it. Mm-hmm. There's no reward in it. Y'all know that? That's a different when you say, hey, you just, you just gave it up like that? There's a reward in that. Versus somebody just took it. He said, I, he said, I'll be lying. I said, they took it. And you go around, you'll tell me, they took your life. He said, I don't know why you told that story, because that's not true. You messing with my reward. Yeah. I laid it down. He told you that. He said, ain't nobody take my life. He said, I laid it down. He, t- he said, well, they can't. He said, you don't think I can ask the Abba right now? He'll send me more than 12 legions of Amalek. Uh, Amal- he said, that I wouldn't be delivered. That's right. He said, but how did how did how the kid of being gonna be fulfilled? Yeah, yeah. See, but I know how many y'all be. How many y'all say they took your life? You usually believe they took your life. That's a, that make a difference. That's a difference. That's the y'all ever watch the movie Blue Street? Yes. How many for really familiar with it? Y'all remember when he went up on David Chappelle the criminal? He walked down there. He said, "Man, listen, man, you got skills, man." He said, "You need to be out here, man. You need to be in your trouble." He said, "Listen, I'm gonna take you in, but I'm gonna get you out of here." He like he said, "Listen, he said I'm gonna have to take the gun." He said, he said, no, no, don't give it. To-. See, they show you how much sense people got. Yeah. He told him no, didn't it? Yeah. He said, I got to take it. And he wound up hitting him, didn't it? Because it didn't look right. So you, this is what the man tried to tell you. They didn't take mine. I gave it to him. Yeah. That's a difference. So you be saying, take, give, same thing. It is to you. But the man said, I got a reward if I do it willingly. That's right. Y'all got it. And, 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 and that's something. We had to transition into learning. These are things we're starting to really get a better concept of. Because we, again, we try to deal with um, what's practical, not theoretical. No ideas, no ideas. We want to stay practical when you're dealing with salvation. There's reasoning, there's rationale behind things that he's done, do things that he said. A lot of things they just didn't tell us. So we look at the Nakum, and where did Nakum come from? Other Kitavim? We might have Tikva. I'm thinking the same thing, sir. Yes, sir. And you're supposed to caught that, too, because it touched his finger. So don't worry about it. Y'all forgot nothing. <laughs> so it was all right. It was inside his grab. Look at it. Yeah, I had a bunch of mini seats, and I'm going to try to make sure I hold them for y'all. <laughs> so then I got that half seat, too, where somebody had a cheek. Who that was lot that seat got a half a cheek on it? Derek, yeah. So I forget where y'all get. That'd be a whole seat for some of y'all if you ain't being got with that much. But anyway. Uh, I bust down prison seat, but everybody, y'all, <laughs> plenty good room, plenty good room. <laughs> she gonna have to stand. Yes, Isn't that sir. right? That'll mess up everything. <laughs> she gonna have to stand. Isn't that right? That's all right. I don't know why. That made her funny. But, no. <laughs> but, but, but that is it. Making sure that we actually obtain it. That ain't the heat I know, is it? I hope so. No, that can't be the heat. Y'all make sure y'all hit the button, turn that thing down. Man, no, don't do that. I couldn't even wear my jacket. It was already warm in him. I appreciate you, Hood. I ain't complaining about it. 
I need that woman up out there. They need to kill them bees and them bugs out there. But anyway, let, let's look at this. See if that's the um, fifth chapter of the book of Acts of the Shalom King. Let me see 5 and 29. I did based off of, um, I heard them, uh, I heard them share something. 5, what's that, 29? Yes, sir. Y'all yeah. dropped them temp. Appreciate it. What that was? AC. No, 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 don't come on AC. No, 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 uh, I had to do it. He said it was on six, and I could have put it on six day. They do me. I owe them one. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. You had to be somewhere else. I know good weather. No way. Y'all better not know what I just said. <laughs> them school computers. <laughs> so, so this is Acts of the Shala King. Shala Acts. So we want to go through and look at what, how they more or less designated things. Let's see what he told us. Listen. And Cuff and the Shalakim answered and said. Then Cuff and the Shalakim, the sent one said. Are we not to obey in the call of Allahim, then obey in the call of the Bani of Anahim? <clears throat> see, now, now, now people are look at this right here. Now, this will look like it more or less contradicts, but it actually doesn't. When you take the 23rd chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo's, because we here and I got to kind of clean it because I know the mind runs and think it finds something. In the 23rd chapter of the book of, um, in the 23rd chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo, it told you that they sit in Mushasi. All they bid you to do, do, but not after they behave before they say and they do not. Here they were trying to tell them not to preach or proclaim in his shim. And that's a difference. This is why he asking the question because uh, naturally this comes up to be questioned. Why wouldn't it? Because I know what he taught me. I was right there with him. Man, you guys are, sh you shaw over us. Now, you've just given us some, um, some orders that we're not supposed to teach or preach in this man's name. <clears throat> Let's listen to what he said. The all of our abode cum up Yahushua, whom you laid hands on him See and that? hanged him on the knots. Well, let's jump, we're at 29, jumping back up probably 25. Yes, sir. I got to work. So we start in a certain place, you got to kind of clip stuff. I don't want people thinking you got nowhere to get away from. You can't get away. I don't even want this. I wanted something, but we'll deal with it. That's what he do. Listen. But one each came and reported to them saying, what Behold, on? the Anashim whom you put in the prison are standing in the, mosh in the Makdash and teaching the arm. Mm-hmm. Then the captain went with the officers there and brought them, but not with force, for their yara in the presence of the arm, lest they should be stoned. Is that what they looked at? They feared the people, so they knew when they brought them, they didn't force them. Listen. And having brought them, they put them before the council, and the Rosh Kohanim asked them, saying, What happened? Did we not strictly command you not to lum it in this shim? See that, that we told you. We strictly, we commanded you not to teach that man's name. What happened? Behold, you have fulfilled, have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and intend to bring the dom of this ish upon us. They were looking, see, they understood it. They, count, they knew they were going to bring the guilt on them because if they could preach and proclaim that he was innocent, that means y'all got, y'all murdered an innocent man. That means y'all, that make y'all guilty. That's right. That's right. So they wanted just, it wasn't just about teaching his name. They also understood that this also put guilt on them. That's right. Okay? All right, listen. And Cuff and the Shalakim answered and said, What did they say? Are we not to <clears throat> obey the call of Allahim, then to obey in the call of the Bani of Adam? And so that's all we're trying to say. Are we supposed to obey you? Or are we supposed to obey Allahim? So that makes a difference. This is what we're looking at. Now we're putting it back in your hand. If Allahim gave us something to say, who are we supposed to obey? Are we supposed to obey you <clears throat> over Allahim? Are we supposed to obey Allahim over you? So definitely put things into question. Listen. The all of our abode come up Yahushua, whom see, you laid hands on him see, and hanged he, on a ox. See, that's what he said. He said that one, he done cooned him up, the one that you done crucified, and you hung on an ox, which is on a tree. That's reason too. Listen. 
the one had the Elohim exalted to. The one, say that his, the one has Elohim exalted to his right hand. To his right hand, which to made be him a who? Sar and a savior. The who what? A Yamin. To make a, you said a Sar. It says Sar. Prince. That's what they say. Yes, sir. Prince. That's amazing. He said Sar. Why did he say that? I wonder. He probably should use another word. Nazi. I heard somebody say he was not a Nazi. That's amazing he said that. Because the word for prince is Nazi. You can look it up. They'll spell it N-A-S-I. I'm a Nazi. <laughs> that's why they run you away from words. Mm. I mean, I'm worried, that's what I told you. It ain't on y'all. Please don't, it ain't on y'all. They teach you certain things for a reason. There's a rationale behind teaching you things to get you away from things. You don't say those words. Those bad, stop, don't you, don't you say that. Usually when they try to get you away from something because it gets you into something. So they like to play with your own words. So they'll put it as a Z. All they do is they play word games. Ain't that right? I know uh, Cookie got his, uh, one of his and about how he use, how he, why he do his wordplay. They've been wordplaying you. You can't wordplay them, they play you. But see, all your vocabulary, all your knowing, all your knowledge, all your, all your etymology come from him. So how much you gonna know? He gonna limit you on a lot of stuff. Ooh, that's amazing. Oh, you got it separate? Oh, man, they got a Nazi. That's amazing, ain't it? Y'all ever seen a word look something like that? Nazi, well, they'll try to use that. They'll try to do N-A-Z-E-E-R, in enunciation, the I, Nazi, which is going to be a separate. But they all have Nazi. I think they might, they might do it as N-E-S-I. They might use an accent. A Nazi is a prince. What he just put was a Nazi, which is going to be separate. That's a little different. There's a lot of things and I just don't discuss it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> oh, let me see. Mm. Oh, a governor? Nazi? Nazi? A ruler? So we, you're not a Nazi? I'm a Nazi. That's amazing the word that the, the German call itself just similar to your word. Because yeah. we definitely get it from them. Right. And these people fight you to tell you not one. Right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to go give me one of them education one of these days. I'm going to get one of them things, folks. Like oh, man, that's amazing. Let me see. Come, on, come back up. Let me see. One lifted up. Mm, that's mm. amazing. That's amazing. It's amazing. Listen, a lot of stuff that people tell. I just, I had to go along with because I know y'all got the education. And, I, and y'all ain't going to pay me no attention that way. What y'all listen to a dummy like me for? Who going to pay attention to a dummy like me? What I know anyway? No, I tell a lot of stuff. Listen, you, can't just, you can't just follow these people like this. I, I didn't look it up. I didn't get it from right now. But I'm sure they have it. See, you don't know how to watch your father. They'll throw you off with something. He found Nazir. He said, well, this is close enough. That's how they'll get you. They'll just play just a little tick of the tongue, a little trick of the letters, <coughs> and you'll miss it. It's designed to do that. This whole way designed for you to do it. It's designed for you not to find out what you're doing. See, like, even when he, when he was trying to show this, one lifted up a chief, a prince, a captain, and a leader. That's what it said. We'll go back to look at it again. Let's go back and let's look at uh, 520. I ain't even want this. We, all, we done jumped over. I heard, I caught it and I said, he said, I said, oh, that's an interesting. Interesting what they tell us, what they teach you. See, a lot of times, remember, who do you hate? Who they gave you? Who, who, who remember watching wrestling? Who was your favorite wrestler? Steen. And Steen was the bad guy. He was the one everybody hated. Who, else, who all used to hate Steen? 
Nobody? Who's your favorite wrestler? He came on. Who? I know yours. I already know yours. They probably did. Now, yours will be controversial. Yeah, I'm right, honestly, yours won't be a good for me to use. I'm going to tell you why. I'm, I'll come back. Who else did anybody else have they like? Ultimate Warrior. Who used to hate Ultimate Warrior? All right, we got one here that hated him. Okay, one. But the reason why I use, I just use those, those, those two, is because the reason why they like them because they more or less showcased them to them. They pretty much made these people be people who you like because they showed them. They made them winners. Because the whole thing is uh, choreography. The whole thing is scripted. So they made you like these people. That's why you like. And that's why people typically didn't hate them. You know, of course, there'll be some. So I hate them because. I just got sick of him or I didn't like this one. But he'll be such a minority too, it'd be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have enough people with him that are hating him where they'll take him down. Now he had Macho Man. Some people didn't like Macho Man. Cause he, ooh, and then other stuff he did. <laughs> now, I mean, some of them like him then, if he fought Hulk Hogan, you couldn't like him. Cause Hulk was set up to be the man for wrestling. Mm -hmm. So they actually put him in that perspective, but he was a good person to dislike cause he had character. So they learned how to play <coughs> you on two ends. I made you love hope, but then he had this character where your hate for him was the love of him. Because you want to see him get beat, and it wasn't going to happen the way you want it. Right. See what I'm saying? They played so you could see everything is scripted. Right. Why do you think he gave you this? Because it's made, it's made for you. Let me tell you something. The average person really is not going to like Yahushua. Mm -hmm. He had to script it and put him there. Mm -hmm. It was choreographer for you to like him. <laughs> Come on, he the guy saying what you can't do. Everybody else saying you can do it. <clears throat> so he had the choreographer the whole thing, script the whole thing to get you to really love him. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm just trying to see. Yeah, just looking at So you had to think. That's why I told y'all why I tell y'all to watch movies. I want you to pay attention to him. See what you catch. I want you to learn how to be a thinker. So I'm saying, why don't I watch TV? Saying, you should watch it. Because it show you, because you need to see sometimes the direction people are going that's actually trying you or coming at you because everything's working around you. They, they're working you the whole time. You just don't know you're being worked. A lot of times, it may be people, you drill people, they don't even know they're being worked. They think they're they think they defense like, I'm working. You don't even have no idea I'm working. You ever know that? Hey, you ever done that? Be like, I'm working. You don't even know I'm working until it's over with. But like, you're being worked the whole time. So you can lead people into things and that's what they've been doing to you. They teach you how, they teach them how to disguise things. So they'll give you something that looks pretty, look inviting, then later on, you don't find out the, the, the defects to it till later. Drazenica, it's just about a run out and a dog. May cause heart problems, brain loss. May cause homosexuality. May cause your legs. Loss. But think about it, they never show you them people with no dick, because you'll be thinking. I just use, now Drazenica, I just named something. They also, you'll be, but see, they'll show it to you, and because they laughing and playing, and they getting ready to eat, and they, <laughs> may cause heart attack. You know what I'm saying? You thinking? You, and they say that may cause heart attack, may cause stroke. Yeah. And they say, you saying, man, I didn't have my doctor get me on there. I scripted that way. Yeah. It's actually bad for you, and I told you so legally. I can't be sued. Right. You heard what you want to <laughs> hear because I tricked you with your eyes. Yeah. I let your eyes see one thing while your ears heard another one. Right. Pick the average. Listen, the average person really not that clever. They just think they are. You're being worked on every end. So when you, when you really start looking at this for what it is, you can see where there's so many transformations we got to make. We're going to be making so many transformations. And y'all got to be <coughs> quick on You got to be quick on the move to be able to transition or you don't get lost. We're at the last, we're at the last hours of this. Y'all just be honest. How much more y'all think the world can stay? What, another 15 years? There's no every day there's a different conflict. You're looking at Somalia and Ethiopia finna jump off. This is gonna be bad. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia is one of the oldest empires on the planet. Yeah. Kush, when you came in, this is the land you knew first. Before you even knew about me, you knew about Kush. Mm -hmm. Kush is an old empire. Ethiopia is a strong empire. They had been, you hadn't heard anything about it. Between them and Mizraim, they're older than the Greeks. Yeah. They're older than the Romans. But you'll get more knowledge about the Romans than them. Ethiopia and Mizraim are two of the old empires you got. They're not the only old, but they're two of the older empires that you know of. And now you got these people going to fight Somalia. See, all these conflicts that are going over here in what they call the Middle East, all this stuff is abrupt for a reason. The man I told you, this stuff going, listen, his intent is to bring everybody down. And I can see it work. I didn't, I didn't know how he was going to do it, but I can see it coming. 
Listen, he done, listen, he done, he done framed it. He done already framed this thing. It's already set. And listen, wheels in motion. Yes, sir. Y'all got it. Let's finish up that five and 30. What well, we're at 31 since we're down. Yes, sir. I just, I just wanted to see. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm a Nazi. Yes. Sir. yes. Now, I, I can't give up my position with these people. That's right. now, they got a problem with it. They got a problem with it. I got booked for mine. That's right. But they run you away from where you don't even hear them say, ask them, say, you're not a Nazi? Then you're ignorant because you, you the one put it in here. You claim it. So why you fight? What made the Germans do it? Why were they lifting their hands up? Why were they lifting their hands up with a virgin grabbing their foot? Because it say lift it up. Just amazing. Let's see. To give repentance to Yasharal. Y'all hear that? To get, see that so he can redeem them. Y'all see that? <clears throat> Hello? How many of y'all see this in for redemption? Good. I'm, I'm glad to see y'all find the thinkers. But you see how you got to pay attention? Because you'll be thinking redeemed and you will, you will be in error. That would make absolutely no sense. See this? Listen why he did it. And forgiveness of Katayim. See that? For redeeming them. No, that does not make sense. He just told you what this is for. This is the fountain that was going to be opened up. See, you can't get it. You got to look at this is, this is how he moved. I told you he does a lot of things. They, some people still stuck <coughs> on redeeming when I'm not talking about redeeming. I'm talking about forgiveness of Katayim. I'm talking about purifying them. Okay? Mm -hmm. yes, Listen what happened. And we are his witnesses of these matters. Cause that's your, guys, what? That's what you got to do. He done told you that. I think we read in the, in the 13th chapter book of da, Allah Dabarim, <clears throat> which is Deuteronomy. They talked about what? I think the 8th chapter we read it. Not the 8th chapter, that what chapter we read. He told you if you done saw or heard or something, you're supposed to tell it. That's why they tell you they're witnesses. Listen, they seen a man, they seen a man, him walk and live and be blameless, and they came and captured that man and killed that man. They were witnesses. Now, whether they heard of it or know it, they're supposed to tell it. Yeah, that's, right. that's why they just told you we're witnesses. Yeah. This is part of your doctrine. Yeah. Doctrine is what's taught, that we saw this. That's why they said we are witnesses. Yeah. That's why we can't set back on it. See, this is another reason why they were able to come out and show themselves to be, he told you, this is what you meant. <coughs> see, see, they were actually brought in the council because they were being, what was that? When you brought the, when you brought them the council, what were they doing? Don't worry about it. Being judged. Judge. This is their heritage. No weapon formed against them. Remember, they were locked up in prison. They were charged not to teach him teach anymore his name. What was going to happen? Something was going to happen to them. So now when they brought up in every tongue, they're brought up in judgment against you. Because they tell him we witnesses. We saw it. That's law. So are we supposed to obey you or him? Because according to the Torah, if we seen it, if we heard it, if we know of it, and we don't tell it, then we guilty. Yeah. Yeah. See, 23rd chapter book of Matthew, y'all heard this one. You're going to make a mess. If I was y'all, wouldn't read it. You're going to make a mess because you're going to spend too much time wrestling. All they're doing, this is how important the Torah is. Somebody's trying to figure, see, he said, do something. Then he said, don't do something. Then he said, do something. And that's where you at. And I said, you're right <coughs> for where you at. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. All right, listen. And, and so also is the Ruach HaKadosh. Whom? The Elohim has given to those who obey him. See that? That's why he gave it. He gave it to them that obey him. So you're trying to become a possessor of it. Then you need to know what you need to obey. That's why it's important why he told you they all have to be taught of him. See, it's just like those people, when they understood salvation, how it worked, they had to be compliant. That's all it was, be compliant. Obeying is just be compliant. He said, then I can save you. Y'all got it? Yes, so they understood being redeemed. And now I'm trying to show them how they can be saved. You have to be compliant. That's how he going to give it to them. The Ruach HaKadah. So you're trying to obtain something. You got to be compliant, but you have to be taught something. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. At the fourth chapter, 644 of the book of Yerukanon. We'll try to see how that work out for us. Listen. No one is able to come to me. See that? Don't have the ability to come to me. Unless I be who shall lock me draws him. So how are you going to draw you? With disobedience? 
So he's going to look at how you're going to get there. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. So he looked at him, no man can come unto me except the Abba which sent me draw him. Got to be on attraction, right? Yes, sir. Listen what happened. And I shall comb him on the last June. That's right, because he's telling you the beginning at the ending. He told you the ending at the beginning. All right, how we would have typically told you if he, uh, vice versa, <laughs> vice versa, listen. Is it not Katab in the Nabaim? See, if it not written in the Nabaim. And all your Benim shall be taught by Yahuwah. See that? All are going to be taught by Yahuwah. Thus, all who has Shama from the Abba. See, they had heard from the Father. And learned shall come to me. That's how he told them. No, he said, no man can come unto me except the Abba drawing. That's how you were going to get it. You had to be taught. People be sitting around talking about what attraction. That's, that's it right there. You had to be taught. See, let me ask something. Do y'all know how those people actually came out to see Yahushua? Because they were taught. Right. Some people just followed. They just led. <clears throat> Some people came out for different reasons, but other ones came out because they were taught. That's right. That's what he told us. They were taught. That's why they came out. So there were things that were significant. There were things that were, that they needed to know. There were things that they knew, and they saw the fulfillment of it and completion of it. That's what you got to do. That, that, that kind of changes what you do or it strengthens what you do. For me, it kind of strengthened what I do because then I know I'm following a direct pattern. So then when they came out, they knew this is a pattern. So the teaching is lining itself up. And you're looking at why you crashing, why you're in a situation. I tell you why now, because you're not following correctly. Mm -hmm. And because you're not following correctly, you're making, a lot of, you're making a lot of bad, critical mistakes that you're making. <clears throat> See, just like when he told him about um, him, when we read about him being a Nazi, a Nazi, a ruler, a captain, and him being lifted. Sit at the third chapter book of Yucanon. <clears throat> See if that 3 and 13 for some reason come to my mind. Yeah, Ukanon. I saw uh, Cam here last night. Then I saw him up on the screw. Cam, whoa, Cam. I mean, Cam was falling out last night. See one. <laughs> whoa. Mm. There you go. One of the kids got sick on him. Somebody was sneezing somehow. Hey. What happened? Somebody else that was called over there two ladies in on 90 days. <laughs> 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 that tight. That tight. Cam's ain't going down by myself. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, Cam. All right, let's say they're three and 13. Yeah, Ukanon, they call John 3 and 13. Listen. No one has gone up to the Shamaim except the one who has come down from the Shamaim. That's what they said. No one had gone up the Shamaim except the one that came down. What happened? The Ben of Adam who is in the Shamaim. He said the Ben of Adam who is in the Shamaim. What happened? And just as Musha elevated the Nakash in Bamad Bar. You see that? Just like he, just like Musha, he uh, elevated, he lifted up the Nakash. And Bamar by in the wilderness. What happened? So must the Ben of Adam be lifted up. Tell him what happened, son. So that everyone among in him should not perish, but rather they shall kai alum. That reads a little different. He told him before about if he be lifted up, he was gonna be the attraction. He was gonna be the one that drawn. He told you, no each can come unto me. It said the Abba which sent me drawn. Right. And he told you it was written in Nami, they all gonna be taught him. Everybody had heard and had learned that's who were coming. So it's important for him to be lifted up, and he gave you something that was similar, to him, just like how the Nakash, how it was on the how it was on the tube. These were things you had to look for, and these are things that were symbolic that you, you had to realize. So when you look at him in his entirety, there are a lot of things you really have to consider about him. Just how they play with the word. They move from a, a Nazareth, dealing with the town or the country region. Um, then you start, I think Nazareth deals with a shoot, something that comes out or that sprouts. If you look up Nazareth, I think it is, I think it comes up a shoot. I said that what I want. So we'll play with their words and play with their definitions and stuff they try to give you, but 
I've been with a lot of stuff. You had to watch people. But it, it's important to know. I'm not saying that everything said is wrong. I'm just telling you, when you follow, you also got to remember your customs. Customs are important. We saw whole people got destroyed. They had the book, but they didn't know the custom. Right. So is it just the book or is the customs too? Because the people had the tour. He said, but he know the custom. <clears throat> and because they know the custom, what happened to the people? He got destroyed. So you got the book, but you don't know the custom. And you know these people looking at, I got the book. What's the custom? Because there are rituals that go with it. And a lot of times they didn't pay attention to it. That's why they got it and they hadn't gotten it well. Because they ain't paid attention to the rituals. Right. All right? There are rituals that go with this. Huh? Where's, where's, where's Nazareth? Oh, I don't know. Oh, the Nazareth. That's actually going to be, that's actually going to probably be, there's going to be a Greek word anyway. Greek woman word. You can look at it anyway. You go around and tell me from Nazareth. Oh, you go ahead and say, oh, look at that. Woo. Go figure. Go figure. Greek Hebrew. They're going to tell you. Because the word they'll actually give for us. So, no, that's right. They'll probably spell it N E T S S O R A. N E T S O R A H. I'll tell you, that's the Aubrey word, or the mm -hmm. Hebrew word. See that, how that come up. That right there. Huh? It says shoot. Well, it's Nissa. Go up. Nissa. And the same way to put a sprout, oh, that's a sprout, a shoot, a branch. I'm going to get you a shout, a shout, a shoot, or a branch. That's amazing because that's what Musha took when he put the, uh, the kosh on. He put it on a branch. Now, I got it? So a lot of times you sit around and you look at these things, it's important. There's other things, too, that you probably don't pay attention to when you deal with this because he does more than one thing. All these guys really impressed with that, you know, he, you know, what right there? Shoot, do 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 do, do. something about the name. He was trying to whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> shoot, shoot, do, do. he was trying to tell you, but just you getting a check too. He was trying to tell you, but I'm, I'm having fun with y'all that. But no, a, a, a lot of times where people kind of go and what they try to look at and do, they really don't pay attention to the whole dynamics of what he's doing and why he does them, because they, they don't look at one thing. They be so impressed with themselves. But yeah, of course, that's what they I mean, I, that's what people are. It ain't, it ain't my job to bother people. <clears throat> people doing what they're supposed to do, right? So, so now, there are things we look at. Uh, let, let, matter of fact, we talk, let's say that the book of Matthew Yahoo, chapter 2. Matthew Yahoo, chapter 2. Say that verse 28. What's the last verse now? Third two? 28 is the last verse? 23 is the last verse. Well, that, okay, they cut that short right here. It's the lost book, the 28. Don't worry about them. <laughs> don't, worry about them other, don't worry about them other five. Go on back up to, go up to uh, 20. Matthew, 2 and 20. All right, listen. <clears throat> Saying, get up, take the yalit in his aim, and go into the arats of Yashara. Mm -hmm. For those who sought the yalit's kai are moot. That's what he said. He said the one that was looking for him, they dead. Come on. So he got up, took the yalit in his aim, and came into the arats of Yashara. But he did. He came to the land of Yashara. But when he, Shama, that Archelaus was reigning over Yehuda instead of his Abba Herodes, he was <coughs> Yara to go there. He feared to go there. Then after being warned in a Kalamuth, he left for the regions of Galil. See that? After he left, after he did what now? After he left the regions of who? After being warned in a Kalamuth, in he left for the regions of the Galil. Oh, what they call Galilee? What happened? And came in Kai in a city called Nazareth. Now he came to a city called Nazareth. For what happened? 
the Debar was to fulfill that was spoken through the Nabaim, he right. shall be Kara a Nasri. That's what it said. That's what it said. Let's see something for a second. Pick me up if you would. We, we, we kind of move and play with it. Say the book of Matthew Yahoo 27. <clears throat> 2732, Matthew Yahoo. They call Matthew. Listen. And it came to pass, as they went out, they found a Ish of Karini, <coughs> whose shim was Shimon, and they forced him to carry his crucifixion for him. That's what they did, got him to help carry it. Listen. They brought him to a Malcum Kara Galgata, that Malcolm, is place a of a skull. A place, a place of a skull. What happened? They gave him vinegar mixed with gall to drink. He tasted it, but was not willing to drink it. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when they crucified him, they divided up his garments between them and cast lots to fulfill what was said by the pa of the Nabi. They divided my garments up mm -hmm. among them. We'll and come back and deal with that another day. We'll deal with that another day. That's something you, <coughs> you, you, don't, you don't know it either, and I don't expect you to. Now, now some will try to figure it, but they won't, they won't be that successful. They'll only go so far. Limited ability is what he gave you, because it's all about purpose. It's all about purpose, and we try to look at it. We'll come back and deal. What, what we were dealing with was the fact that they took him and they had crucified him, okay? That's what we were actually dealing with. Okay, so we deal with the Nasser, we're dealing with the branch, remember? We're dealing with the branch. So these are things that you're looking at. That's why you have to learn how to transition and pay attention, don't get stuck on one thing because you'll miss something else you're doing. <coughs> I told him about that before. When you deal with Yahushua, there's a lot of things you have to really pay attention for because he moves a lot. And they're kind of like Nolan, <laughs> he'll be all over the place. You look around, you be thinking he's somewhere, man, you look around, he's gone. So it's, a, and I say that to say just like Yahushua, you got to pay attention to him. And, and, and in saying that, you want to look at all these different things. Let, let, let's look at somewhere. Um, the, let's see if that's the, um, the fifth chapter of the book of Matthew, Yahoo, 5 and 1. <clears throat> Matthew, Yahoo, 5 and 1. Listen. And it came to pass when he saw the crowd of Om, he ascended on the har. And he sat there, and his Talmudim approached to him. And he opened his paw and taught them, saying, What did he tell them? Barak are the poor in the Ruach, for to them is the Malku of the Shamayim. You know what he told them? See that? that that's what we look at now in the fourth chapter of the book of, uh, my, in the fourth chapter of the book of Oriel, they call Luke. You'll find what he said in 416, when he went into the synagogue on Shabbat. And that's because where he went, he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up at. And as his custom was, he went in. So that's how important customs are. So a lot of times these people grab stuff and do stuff, they don't pay attention, but he clear, let's see right quick, four and 16. <clears throat> so I'm trying to help you understand something that these people don't really try to, they, they're not really trying to pay attention to because it's not important to them. All you need to love is Jesus. And you're gonna mess up every time. Listen, <clears throat> he came to Nazareth where he grew up there, and according to his custom, he went to the Beth of Sonagan. Did you read something wrong? 4 and 16? That's what he read? What they, they got something different up there. Oh, they got Matthew Yahoo. Oh, so read back down. I said Oriya. I apologize. Did I say Matthew Yahoo? I thought I said Oriya. Not human error. Or Dwight. Depending on Ash Chelsea. She said, Dwight error. I'm at home sick. <laughs> 4 and 16. All right, listen. He came to Nazareth, no, where he grew up there, and according to his custom, he went to the Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Shoot the J. Isn't that right? <laughs> That's what happened in that right. He came up to Nazareth where he had been brought up. That's where he shot out from. That's where he shot out from, from Nazareth. Make sense? Yes, sir. That's right, brought up. What do you think happened when it comes? That's what it do. Once the tree cut, it, then it comes out. That's where it came out from. 
It was a shoot. So that's where he came out from Nazareth, where he had been brought up at. And what happened? And according to his custom. And according to his custom. He went to he the He said bed. custom don't mean nothing. Hmm. See, this, this, let me tell you, that's why he told you why people being destroyed. Because a lot of stuff, we, we're going to transition, we're going to change. Right. Because what we're trying to achieve is not probable because of there are things we miss on customs. That's why I try to tell you about behavior, certain things you come in, you do, certain things. Certain stuff, we had to have the same stuff all the time, dress too tight, dress too short, stuff we do. It don't make sense. You ain't paying attention to the custom. And you don't realize this is why he destroyed the people before, because of custom. Nobody said, y'all had to wear a lot of extra clothes to cover. You don't have to just put what you put to have. You don't need no extra to cover something. Just to make sure they're too little, but I'm going to cover it up with this. Shouldn't have to. Don't even wear it. Put on what fit. Right. That's what the book told you. He told the wife, he told the wife to obey their husband <coughs> with that word. As you can cover up with, as it fit. As it fit. How it fit. So y'all have to start looking at stuff y'all do because you start playing with too many lines and you don't realize when he went here, he couldn't go there and say, well, I'm going to do, uh, do what they do over uh, in another place. He said, he can't. It's in Nasserit. This is the custom. This is the custom in Nasserit. Y'all got it? Shoot, this is how we do it. Y'all got it? That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's how we do it in Nasserit. And as his custom was. That's what he went he go in. According and according to his custom, he went to the Beth of the synagogue on the Yom of Shabbat. And these people go on Sunday. I don't know whether they, they, that, that's why they can do it. They're not natural. Right. They're not a shoot. They don't come out from the branch. Right. So a lot of things these people are doing, it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. It really don't make sense. But, you know, it <coughs> does to them because they have their own logic. They don't realize we're looking at a custom that we've already learned. Yasharal knows this custom. This is something Yashara, this is in the land of Yasharal. When they done these things, we told we were brought up at. In Galilee, these people realize this is our custom. A lot of things we do, we shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. And we're trying to come and look at what's conducive to salvation. Right. And a lot of times you're doing things, it's just not conducive to salvation. That's right. Your logic, the ethics, everything, <clears throat> it's, just not, it's just not conducive to salvation. And you waste a lot of time and you're not... Um, Promote yourself to get to where you need to be. So a lot of times we come back, we start making these adjustments. Look at that. I got to get rid of that. I got to stop doing that. I got to look at things the way I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to go with one counsel. This is how we've done this. These are how things are actually done for people that's trying to obtain salvation. People that are not, you just, you know, you do what you've been doing. And that's why you, this is why you're in the condition you're in. No, no one is in the condition they're in for no reason. Nobody. Nobody's in this situation for no reason. No chance, no happening. You're in there for a reason. This is where your works put you at. This is, where your, this is where your intellect have you at. Because you're not winning the transition move. It's only so much he can do with you. This just being honest, ain't but so much he can do with you. You limit him on what he can do. He, you can do all things. He said, there ain't no argument about that. I know you got the powers, the powers. He said, no argument about that. Move right now. He said, that I'm not going to do. Because you limit it. You limit me. He tried to tell the people that arm was not short, that he couldn't. His ear wasn't heavy, that he couldn't. But what happened? Your iniquity. That did what? It separated. That's something else I teach y'all about, too. You, you don't know. You think you do. You don't know that either. All we've been doing, you've been just quoting. That's all I've been doing, just quote. It's just too many things you really don't know. And you don't really actually understand it in real country of what it means. In your mind, you think you do. I mean, it's something. I know, I know. That's where you're at, too. And that's where you're going to leave you at for a while. But it's time to start transitioning. See, the better you guys get in your living, the more information he said, I can move y'all into that. Mm -hmm. We can move into that. That understanding is there for you to know it. But you ain't even performing. You're not even doing it. You don't even know what it means. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. You're a have do stuff. You're a hateful, spiteful. I mean, I, I can see it, too. I see salvation in your sight. Not possible. And not possible. There's a lot of things you got to get rid of. There's a lot of things you got to conform to. Y'all got it? You got to conform. And you make a cape batter pan into a shape, it might be on a round bowl. As soon as you pull it, it ain't going to stay around. It's going to conform to that bowl shape. Mm -hmm. Agree? Yes, sir. That quick. It's going to say, hold on for a minute. I ain't, I'm used to being all over the place. <laughs> when I pull you in that pan, you'll conform. That's I'll right. throw you out. That's right. That's how he did. You got to conform. That's right. It don't matter about what I, I'm, I'm used to being on a square pan. Listen, this the pan I want you in. Conform immediately. That's right. As soon as you get that pan, you start filling in. You conform. You guys have a problem doing that. And, it, and this is why you sit on the edge of you're outside of the realm of salvation. 
And now you're trying to get yourself into, so it's things you need to learn, there are things you need to consider, things you need to understand. But see, when he went up, he sat down, and he over him out, he started teaching them, because he came to the poor. So a lot of things he looked at, he looked at what was the custom. When he went to Nazareth, you know he looked at custom? He started looking at, these are things I need to look at. I need to look at what the customs are. How many times I told y'all, when you, we'll, we'll look up and we'll use and we'll look at these words that people give us. I have like very little confidence in these people because I know they don't know custom. I know they don't know behavior. I know they don't know, that's amazing. He told you that you knew time and season. They don't because they just told you February. Mm-hmm. They're the same people that gave your words. Right. He told me, but you, he said, I shouldn't write it. You should already know by time and season. You should already know. Why are you waiting on spring when you know it ain't but two times a year, ain't but summer and winter? Right, right. Well, technically, but well, that's where you at. Ain't but two times a year. The man never wrote you about no spring and no summer and no fall. The man wrote you summer and winter. Them the only two times you got. They give you all that because they need, they need to lock you in or something. They need stupid folk be right here. They need my spring clothes. I call the spring going out your head. They even fall clothes. What you doing? The book said now I'm able to keep you from falling. What you doing in the fall? <coughs> stupid cell. Man say able to keep you from falling. Your stupid cell got some fall clothes. What you think you done done? Look at your conversation. Just dumb. <laughs> then you wonder why you keep messing up. Then I'm going to put on my fall jacket today. You both to be, it makes sense. <laughs> That's right. Your conversation will lose to what you're doing. The man gave you some in one. The man gave you all this. They gave you hot and cold. He told you lukewarm. Really, that's like in between. I told you about that lukewarm. I'm going to spew you out my mouth. Why the man wants you to be hot and cold? He'll give you four times a year. You ain't got but two times of the year you got. Summer and winter. They got that. But you couldn't. I know how many. No, no, I ain't going to watch them. I ain't going to have it. Raise your hand in your heart. Which you got your fall clothes. I know, and you, and you tripping every time. Man, you tripping. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, you tripping. What do you think going to happen when you put on them fall clothes? That's right. You got to start watching what you're doing, okay? Yes, sir. So, uh, again, we're just examining these things because it's important for us to know what we're supposed to be doing. Say that the 22nd chapter of the book of Oriol. See if that's um, 22. Well, matter of fact, we'll, before we get at 22, I think, 37, probably about 37. Let me see, so then we'll come back to that fourth chapter since we're over there, 4 and 16. For some reason, let's come back. This is Oriel 22, 37. Let's see what happened over here. Listen. For I say to you that this katab still must be fulfilled by me. And Make it he, 39. Let's say that what I want. What happened? And he went out and he did yum by yum to the heart of Hazith which is olives, and his Talmudim also You said which is what? Olives. Oh, the Mount of Olives. Oh, so he went out, what, read it again. What at, 30, what at 39? Yes, sir. What the, okay, what happened, read it again? 39. And he went out, and he did yum by yum. He went the, out, he went out yum by yum? What, to, that day to, by day? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. To the heart of ha Zathim. Okay. And his Talmudim also followed after him. And Talmudim also followed after him. When he came at the Malcolm and said to them, What did he say? Palal, that you shall not come into the hands of testing. He said that? That's what, he was talking about. That's what you need to Palal to. Y'all need to be Palal for that. That's something we're going to start adding in. Palal, you don't fall in, the hand of t- fam, fall in the hand of testers. What you think testers going to do? They're going to be testing you. But Palal, you don't fall into the hand. Why he tell them that? Because those people are going to use temptation and pull it. Why do you think right. these people got these television shows and movies? Like, right. Look at why you mess up. Look at the stuff you mess Why do you think you mess up? Because these testers, you're in the hands of testers. That's right. What do you think these folks do? Every time they were coming, you know what they were trying to do? Test them. Trying to test them. That's why they were the school. Every time they look around, they get them kids another test. Yeah, they're trying to test them so they can see where you at. These people are trying to grade you and see where you at. You just don't realize it. And then he told you, these people, they're going to test you. These people test you so you can fall. That's right. Sometimes how James will put it back, these tests, are, he said, these are tempters. That's what happened to Kaua. She fell into the hand of tester. <clears throat> That's why he want to tell what do you. Think, what do you think that, that, that Nakash came to tell about? What do you think he was doing? He was testing her by tempting her. 
Has he said that indeed? That's what they tell y'all. So I get a preacher for be <coughs> Yahushua. You're like, no, he ain't, he ain't all of him. I'm just saying, you always say what he said. I'm just curious. And they done push you out somewhere and you're messed up. They tested you. That's right. Through tempting you. They played you. They played her. Think about it. He made them like him. And he let them have. Because he don't see why you can't. I mean, that don't make sense. If you like him and right here, why you can't do it? You know, fell in the hand of testers. And you know what you're doing? You've been giving over the temptation. Your temptation already there. Your mind already lurking for you anyway. And now you know it. You done failed. There go your clothes. Now you got on fall clothes in the summertime. Yeah. Go figure. I'm just telling you, you, you really had to take your time. And that's what he was trying to tell the people when he was on the <clears> Mount of Olives. He was saying, trying to tell the folks, you need to pull out, you don't fall into the hands of testers. Listen, what else? And he parted from there, from, he parted from them the distance of slinging a stone. That's how far he went. So, Shane, further than how you throw it out. Further than you throw that marker. <laughs> Otherwise, it was like there right here. <laughs> like, you ain't even go nowhere. That's why them people could throw a rock. He departed. They give you just kind of give you a variation to try to give you an idea. By the far as throwing a stone. Listen. And he got down on his knees in Palal, saying, I be, if you are willing to make this cup pass from me, uh -huh. yet let it not be according to my will, but, but according to your will. That's what he said. <clears throat> he realized what he was going to fall at. And so, and so what you got to do, you got to look at that. See, that, that's why I pull even with him, allowing us to count a word to escape the temptation, that, um, that he, if he see fit that he doesn't, we just want to make sure that he keeps us. Cause I always, cause you ask don't mean that's his will. That's right. So I learned to want to be, I want to be, I want to be knowledgeable about that. I can ask him to do something, but if that, that's not his will, that's not his will. And I had to be accepted of that person. Oh dog, why not? He said, that's a murmur. That's a complainer. I mean, I ain't like I said it to nobody else. He said, it was in your heart. Mm -hmm. See, learning how to transition and not let things be to where you still question or trying to defy. And even though it don't come out of your mouth, your actions will do it. That's still detrimental. Y'all yeah. got it? Yes, when he told you to be kadash, what did he say to do that in? How you talk? All manner comes in and it's your conduct. <clears throat> That's a conduct too. You ain't going to believe it. That's part of the custom. Yeah. That's the custom. So you're going to start saying, remember, he wants you to run it all to who? What would it want? Custom to who custom. And tribute to who tribute. You ain't supposed to owe no band nothing. But the heart. He said, that's it. Y'all got it? I'm just trying to help out. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Back at that fourth chapter right quick of that four and uh, Oriah 4, 16. They call Luke 4 and 16. We're kind of getting thrown a little bit, but trying to deal with the Nazi since we went there. We were dealing with being a Nazi because I'm a Nazi. That's all that's just, that's all that's a <coughs> prince, a ruler. They don't want you to be that. They didn't even want you to be a, a negus. Why y'all you bury that N word? See, everything that they, all they do is take your word change, and get you nigga. And you got these old black folks trying to help Marge for I slap every one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I slap them with the love of Rosa Parks. That's right. I lick every finger in my mouth. <laughs> I know Boss was trying to tell about it. Rosa Parks, they fool y'all. Rosa Parks Rosa Park didn't ever sound that buff. She, she signed some paper <laughs> later on, all that. I don't know nothing. Tell the show a whole movie. You got to add stuff. It was one bus ride. That's why I'm sitting in that seat every day. I'm not impressed with that stuff. You know what I mean? Black folks sitting on that bus. I'm just being honest. I don't know why they don't tell y'all the truth. She was not the only person sitting on the front of the bus. Please, these folks, like, they, they, they teach these little kids. You think nobody sitting on the front of the bus but black? Darker than her. They went to jail. She didn't do nothing extra. They just picked up faces that were closer to a white face. They had people that went you because the folks had criminal records. Or that one girl, she was pregnant. She wasn't the first person to do that. Please don't. Listen, I'm not taking that. Listen, let her have, let her have the bus ride. If that help y'all feel better about y'all self, <laughs> let her have the bus. Give her the bus. Let her have the bus. Did the same woman found that she jumped while she was living, she sued some black rapper who tried to give some credence to her. I don't have no respect for her. Right. They didn't even say nothing against her. They were just saying, and they jumped, jumped, jumped on the family and sued them. Yep. All they were trying to do was saying what Rosa Paul did. Money grab them. Yeah. No different than the King kids. Mm -hmm. Dexter done died. I wouldn't give a dime to Dexter. <laughs> well, like again, somebody money got more money than me. Right. Tell me I donate some money to Dexter. Right. Is you crazy? Right. 
Now, I don't mind. Listen, I believe them king kids ought to get some money for their daddy. I ain't paying a dime for them to tell them. I'm going to pay them for what, what next to do? You went to Hollywood and made some gay movies? I'm not impressed with that stuff. They don't eat kids homosexual. I don't know where a four kid can't but do but one baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know where anywhere. Y'all king kid. King bust out four of them. Even That's one right. of them at least should have got one. That's right. <laughs> Kings all my dream one dry. <laughs> <laughs> them kids need to start dreaming. That's right. Paul get man, you see Martin, Martin the night. What that boy? Martin the nineteenth. Man, please. <laughs> Boy, you can't shoot, but one of them things out, boy, go sound somewhere. Mm-hmm. Don't even talk like that. He ain't green. Like, man, at least play the tape. That's right. <laughs> man, I'm going to tell you something. That's right. If I'm on to the king daddy, y'all nigga give me some more money, that money don't make no sense. That's right. That's something. We got some difficult days ahead. <laughs> I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. <laughs> Here's a loud me. Y'all hit, boy, I got it all in me. That's right. Let me just sign the check. <laughs> like, boy, shut your mouth. Right, but get him. Don't come at this king son no more. What you doing down here talking like that? My neighbor talk like that. Woo, man, it's terrible. Now them can't talk. What in the world going on? They don't even talk like Coretta. Mm-mm. She said, Martin. She thought, Martin. This is the way she throw Martin's name out there. Isn't that right? I call him Michael whenever he come around my place. Isn't that right? That's right. <laughs> my dad ate ice cream. He called him Michael. <laughs> he said, Henry Gray, they don't tell everybody that. <laughs> Listen, y'all folks in MS around, I'm just telling the truth. Listen, y'all can't get, man, y'all need to get y'all some tape, man. Say, I don't know about your daddy. Learn how to talk, man. These people pay you for this mm-hmm. stuff. Man, they got all kind of dinners in Rockdale County and Covington. Man, I be flat every one of them things. They all in here mountain town. From Lookout Mountain in Tennessee. They be, <laughs> wait a minute. Stone Mountain, Georgia. But yeah, and then before I leave, I have somebody to shoot and I just fall out like this. Woo! Oh, that be the real check. Every time. That's how I close it. That's a break down shot. <laughs> They, now they should be paid. I'm be honest. Just you get another check. That's two checks you earn now. They should pay them kids for losing their dad. I'm not gonna tell no lie about that. Them kid lost their dad, and that man. That's a lot for a child to lose their dad. That man put his life on the line. I give respect to where respect do. He put a lot on the line. We're not talking about his natural life where he live. <clears throat> we just talking about he went and put his life on life that. Now we put his natural life involved with that. Man, we got a mess going on. But let's just deal with the man put it. That's a lot. And I'm saying that folk can criticize him. But when you walk out from your family, that man was the face of that movement. He became the face of that movement. That man was a target. You getting called from Jagger Hoover, from the FBI. You getting blackmailed. You got everything else. You, you got a lot going on. I mean, he <coughs> drank. The you got to get something. I guess you got to stay. You got to get some look. Me, I, I'm good. But I tell you, that's a lot to deal with. Scoundrel, people around you. I don't trust nobody around him. I don't believe now. The only one around him, I honestly, if it was up to me to believe, anybody who was around him was probably genuine, Jose Weed. Yeah. He the only one that didn't get rich out of the man when he died. Yeah. Folk don't know, Jose was smarter than anybody he had around him. Jose was a scientist. Most of y'all didn't know they did it. <coughs> Jose Weed bought the first Cadillac down in Savannah, Georgia. Jose, Jose Weed had money. Jose, man, Jose Weed was smart to death. He was a chemist. That man, listen, he didn't even talk about it, did he? You just hear him talk, you just thought he was a dummy. And that been your stupidity. Yep. Jose Will was smarter than anybody he had around. The rest That's of them right. joke one number con artists. Yep. Jesse Jackson, con artist. Yep. John Lewis. Talking them St. Bernard Lip. <laughs> Shut your mouth. That three check, Justin. Folks are trying to tell them lies on that man. Just shut your mouth. Every That's one right. of them. John Lewis. What the, now who the other, Andrew Young? Young. I rolled that nigga fast as I could at wheelchair and slam on brakes. <laughs> he the same one went doing up with the missing murder kids right here in Atlanta. Yeah. Talking about not crying over some spilled milk. Yeah. Nothing but a sellout. You didn't know that, did it? When he missing, when he kids were missing down here, he came in after after Man and Jack, they tried to get him to try to get him, get the feds involved to try to do something. He told him I don't need to cry on no spilled milk. 
We lost 27 kids. That was the only one they recorded. Some of them were right here in Rockdale County. Cobb County. He joking, don't care nothing about you. Not none, they don't care nothing about you. Sit around and tell lies. Julian Bond, he started out, he would have been, he would have been your first black president. He had a problem with that no candy. And that right here, the candy man. On nothing but a bunch of cocaine sniffers. Bunch of drunks. They having that old stutterer. His sorry son tried to take it over. Another then got caught in the airport with reefing his draw. He's so stupid, don't walk up and rub the drug dog. No, he's gonna get a dog, they're barking all around that joker behind. They're like, trying to play it out, gonna try to, hey, but you know how dumb you are? you walk up to a drug sniffing dog, you got marijuana in your drawers. Hey. Nothing but a bunch of dummies. Folks ain't nothing but a bunch of dummies. And then, you know, what happened? it ain't the other whites and other people don't do it. You can't use them every time you do something. Why people shut your mouth when you already know you done criticize the people oppressing you? You got to do better. That's, right. That's what you can't put everything on white people. That's right. Sorry behind. Mm. Well, the white man, shut your mouth. That's why you ought to know. You, ought to, you get a black leader. I'm sick of them every time you get one. They fail you. Right. Always trying to use this excuse. Well, the white man, shut your mouth. I'm for them doing more time than a white man. You know I struggle. Yeah. I always make a fool. Like you always kissing up these folks. Just sorry behind. Mm-hmm. Anyway, they'll get back over him. <laughs> four, well, I took 4 and 16, the book of Orion. And I don't make no apology for nothing I said either. Sick of these folks making a fool out of us. Every time you see it, they run here and grab all your money for February. Run around here and tell the lies on the back of Dr. King. What they do in January for Dr. King? Right. You know, right, that man, well, that man came out here and put his life on line for these people. And all of them did a fail them. And they ain't, they, the nigga still ain't got no direction. Right. You know, still ain't got no direction. As I said, so what you doing now? Right. Trying to run, grab his name, you want to get some money in your pocket. Yeah. Shut your mouth. Get out and do something. Yeah. Talking about, no, don't work for Dr. King. Think, nigga, get two jobs for Dr. King's mm-hmm. birthday. <laughs> Always trying to go somewhere and don't work. Get your behind somewhere and get to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when Dr. King told these people don't work. <laughs> Quit lying. Right. Isn't that right? That's the only time you ought to go to work. You ain't working no other days. <clears throat> All right, come on, 416 Book of Orion. That's a check, Dwight. <laughs> Listen. He came to Nazareth where he grew up there, mm-hmm. and according to his custom, he went to the Beth of the sun- of synagogue on the Yom of Shabbat and stood up to read on the Sefer. We know that word Greek, too synagogue. Go ahead. The Sefer of the Nabi, Yeshayahu, was given to him, mm-hmm. and he opened the Sefer and found the Malkum where it is Katab on it. Where it was written said? The Ruach of Yahuwah is upon me Why? in order to Mashiach me to bring two news to the humble. You see what I did? That's why the man did that. He said the Ruach was upon him in order to anoint him. Listen, to bring the two news. That would bring, he would bring a good news to us. Listen. He has shalak me to care for the brokenhearted. That's what he did. He said that's what he did. He sent me to care for the brokenhearted. What else, son? To proclaim freedom for the exile. See, the people don't want me to tell them that. That's what I, that's what I try to teach them. I tell them to let the uh, oil be upon us. Isn't that right? I'm trying to get them to get them from captivity. <coughs> Isn't that right? It's for their liberties. These are things you got to say. That's what he said he's sending it for. You don't even know. That's why he crowded him over city. Most of you don't even know you're a captive. That was the man, why, the, the man why, why he sent the man here to try to lose people that were free? Free people that were captive. And these folks tell you just sit down and shut your mouth. Shut, you shut your mouth. The man sat here and told me what he sent him for. That's right. Is that good news to a person in captivity? That's right. Then when you were locked up, when they were finna tell you, you finna go home with you, you say, oh, that ain't nothing. That man wanna hear that. <laughs> man, you finna get ready to get out. Man, that's two news. That's good news. Come on. And for the blind, an opening release. See that? And then he opened and release in the captive. And he said him for the blind. See that? He gave you ra'a, which is to see. That's what ra'a means too. It ain't just shepherd, it's to see. Come on. To shalak the oppressed away free. See that? They sent him away free. That's what he did when he sent, look at when he sent him from Mizraim. You see how he sent him <laughs> that no folk got in how they were scuffling out there? No, sir. He said them people, it don't make sense to see you. If I see your way, you, I see your way free and you still in worse shape, where you going? Why y'all think the people, this, this is their job, okay, you know when a lot of slaves let go, a lot of them stayed with their master. Are you stupid? They had a dumb conversation. 
Why you think the people didn't go nowhere? That's right. Ain't when nothing. the people left from Mizraim, they had something. That's right. That's common sense. Folks, quit being stupid. That's right. People so dumb. They you you say stuff. People come, quit being stupid. That makes no sense. You ain't never left the plantation. I said you can go. Which, which way? Right. He had to lead them out. They didn't know how to leave Miss Rain. That's they right. They never left. <clears throat> Why he had to lead them out? Why is, oh yeah, we good. We know what to do. They did. I don't know where to go. I don't know the short or the long way. That's right. So when they stayed there, because nobody gave them, they didn't say, huh, he go half of this, he go a mule, he go a wagon, <clears throat> he go clothes, he go provisions. So what you think they were going to do? They duped you. You say some of the dumbest stuff. You say stuff, it ain't your fault. It just, you know, I guess you're just a dummy. You're just a dummy because you don't think when people tell you something. It don't make sense. Why do they leave Ms. Ryan? Because they had stuff. You can't leave, you don't have nothing. Don't let these people seduce you to them. It must not be too bad you ain't going nowhere. What are my provisions? When you're cold left, what did, you remember how he left out with nothing? He stole away and he stole away with goods. Because he told her, had it not been for the, the Alahim or Abraham and Yasakar, he said, you'd have left me nothing. Yeah. That's the only he left. He had to stake the stuff with him to leave. Y'all don't let people tell y'all dumb stuff. Please don't repeat that dumb to me. Please don't. It made me sick on my stomach to hear dumb right. stuff. That's why these people understand the premise. It don't make sense to deliver you except but deliver you and make you have goods. Because you got to be well. Come on. To Pizza. proclaim a Shana of Khan for Yahuwah. <laughs> he was were, he were proclaiming a year. <clears throat> he was proclaiming like a jubilee. He was proclaiming a year to these people. They understood. He was proclaiming a year for these people. This was a, listen, this was a whole season coming through for these people. He proclaimed this was the year for these people. See, when he brought us out of Mizraim, you know what he did? He started a time over. He didn't know this is the beginning of your days. This is the start of your years right now. Time starts you. I'm going to take you out. Y'all got me? This is going to start, listen, they're going to start a whole new climate for you. And this is how you got to start looking at things. Like now, while a lot of y'all haven't changed, because you still hold on to the old you. You only confess, you only good just for that moment, but you still go back. You don't understand. That's why he was so dead set on not going back. <coughs> y'all got it? Le leaving those things behind. Just like Luke had to do when he left Simon. Remember how he used to break down crying by their wife? Huh? You remember that time he got there? He told me, I'm still a little salty. Oh, he said, no, that's my wife. That's what he said. He said, he said, what he said? He said, I know she mad I'm gone, I left, and I know she a little salty, but I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> See? That man never talk about that. You know what he had to do? Because he had to press toward the mall. Right. Remember? He told me it was a city, Zohar. He said, it's a little city. So he had to, that was the mall. He said, he can't make it to the heart. He said, some might come and pre-adventure, some might get it. He said, but it's a little city. City should be, they'll spell it I-R. Yeah. I pronounce it like, yeah. They'll say it like, Un A Y R. So you do A Y R. The A is not the olive, it's the U. So with this, so now what you have, what is that? Why? This is that um I think it would be like Katif. <coughs> Katif. Katif. Kyrie, which would be the short sound of the the e. They saying that the e makes an i type sound. Like in green, you have the e e sound, and then you take away the g r in the end, you have the e. So they're saying it's a shorter sound, so it almost makes the sound as the i. So they would probably spell it i r, but you'll spell it un a y r. That refers to the city. All that is just, a, that's really what a city is. It's just, that's a reason that's cut out. So you understand how they look at it. It ain't no building, that's a place that was cut out. Remember, they was in Vermont Bar. So the city would be what they would just kind of cut out. So that's how you want to look at it, okay? <clears throat> For that reason, you need to know that. Because it was up to me, I wouldn't have told it to you. It ain't gonna make no benefit to you anyway. Listen, come on, finish up. And it came to pass, so what happened? when he rolled up the Sephir, returned it to the attendant and sat, 
and the um of all who were in the synagogue, son again, were focused on him. Mm -hmm. He began saying to them, this um, this katab is fulfilled in your, in your hearing. He said, but man, basically it's completed. Fulfilled is just completed. He let them know it was, it, was, it was completed in the hearing. What happened? All of them commended him and were amazed by the Dabarim so of Khan. They commended him for him. And they was amazed by, the, by his words and, and the Khan. Come on. That were coming from his paw. That was coming from his mouth. And they said, is he not Yosef Ben? That's what they want to know. Was he Yosef's son? He said to them, look, you say this martially to me. So Hillary. let me ask y'all a question. So let me ask y'all a question. Just, just say here, look, you don't find this kind of art? <clears throat> Tell me why, son. Exactly right. And these people have no other reason why they folks say that. Why they say this not my ring, son? Because they knew what they knew what she tied to. Mm -hmm. They were sitting here amazed because they were saying, "In this Joseph's son." That's why they were amazed. Why would you be amazed when a Kohan is doing what he already do? Right. Why would I be amazed about Louis serving? as you read in the book of Abari, because he spake nothing concerning the Kohan when it came down to this man. So now you're tying him to where? They're looking at Yehudi. They're looking at a Yehudi just got up and done this though. And they were all amazed and they saying, isn't this Yosef's son? Why am I talking about Yosef? Why well, I know for sure, Mary. Why not Marine? Why I'm saying, why I ain't say both parents? Why don't I say, isn't this Yosef and Marine parent child? <coughs> Listen. He said to them, look, you say this, Marshall Lee, to me. Heal her, heal yourself. That's what they told him. They say, he said, you say that, Marshall Lee, to me. You say, heal her, heal yourself. He told you it's going to be fear. They're going to tell him that. They're going to tell the physician, the one that will heal the people, they want to see could he heal himself. Listen. Whatever we have heard you have done at Kafar Nakum, do also here in your native town. We heard the same thing in the neighboring town. The same act he was performing in one city. He said, you're doing the same thing in the neighboring town. What happened? And he said, Amon, I say to you. A truth I say to you. A Nabi is not welcome in his native land. Mm -hmm. Which is honor for them. Come on. But I tell you, in Amat, there were many widows in Yashorol, in the Yamim of all Yahu. Y'all hear what he said? He said, in the days of all Yahu, who they called Elijah, you ain't going to believe it. He said, it were plenty of widows. It were plenty of women who had <clears> lost <throat> their husband. It wasn't no one. What happened? When the Shamayim was restrained for three Shanim uh -huh. and six, six Kadash, and for there was a great- three years and six months, he said, when he kept it from raining upon their lawn, upon their rocks, what happened? And there was a great famine over all the Arats. That word for that famine should be uh, Ra'ab, R-A accent. What is that, the top hyphen? A, B. It would be a famine. Ra'ab. Not Ra'ha. That's R-A-A-H. We're talking about R-A, what's that, hyphen at the top? A, B. Ra'ab. That's a famine. I told you we're going to have a Ra'ab, R-A-B. That's going to be a multitude. Abundant. <coughs> R-A-B. Listen, but all Yahoo, who was not Shalak to any of them, he except said, to he wasn't sent to any of them, yeah. uh huh, except to Sarafath, which is in Sidon, to a widowed, Nash widowed Asha. See that he only sent him to one. Y'all don't think it more than just us out him. He said he wasn't sent but to one. He was Shalak, he sent him to one. He said, Well, plan them in that day. He wasn't sent but to one. Listen. There were many lepers in Yasharal in the time of Al Yasha, the Nabi, but uh -huh. not one of them was purified except for Na Naman the Arami. Arami. Yeah, that, he said, but, but one I'm purified. That shit, I don't want to go. Let's say, I don't want to go. There have been Beth, second, Malachi, <coughs> probably four, eleven. It'll tell you more about it. It'll deal with, um, with Naaman. He was a captain of the host, and he was a leper. And he was told to go do something, but he wasn't going to do it, though. 
He was told about being purified to go and wash it and you're done. He wasn't going to do it. He wasn't know about being purified. He told him to do something real simple. And he thought that was the most ridiculous thing he ever heard. He laid all the places, all this my end, and all the places. He wanted me to go and wash him in Yardine. His Abedin, his servant, told him that. His servant brought him back to reason and let him know. Had he had told you to do a great feat, you would have done it. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He said, well, he told you to do this one. Why wouldn't you do it? Mm -hmm. That's what same thing with us to him. He tell you to do the simplest thing. You're too stupid to do it. That's right. It seems like it has to be something more complicated, <clears throat> and that's why you're in your situation. He only sent him to one to show him that. It was real simple for him to cleanse himself. He was looking to do something left, some spectacular feat to get it. Told him to cleanse it. So go wash and you're done. Mm -hmm. He was going to leave. He was looking at, man, that man ain't been doing no stuff. That's crazy. All this my aim around him, and he want me to wash and you're done. That's why you ain't say if you just stay with the particular what he told you, he'll work it for you. That's right. Oh, y'all did the same. You know what he finally be saying? This is too simple for you. Let me tell you what, if I told y'all to do something, get up right now, and I want you by faith, jump over that pew, you'll break your neck trying to, because you're so stupid, you think that's actually going to be your salvation. That's why people trip up at. This is where you mess up at, because in your mind, you keep thinking more. He make it simple for you, and you still don't get it. You keep thinking, but all these other people, get in your head. These people not saved. Quit graying yourself by that's these right. people. <laughs> Who had the old mother that they should drink any dead that they should not hurt them? They should pick up the car. You say, him, this need people, these people mess you up. They're going to get you snake bit and you're going to kill yourself. Yeah. They trick you. They don't know. They make a fool out of it because you keep thinking. Why you think they can trick all those people in? Why me drink this whole bottle? <sighs> people just dumb. People don't know no better. You keep looking for some great feat and it's not what you're thinking. Right. Take your time. It's real simple. Hold you got right quick. Pick me up at um, Cabo Coop, like two and one. And I'll come back right quick. They call it Habeca. It's Cabo Coop. <coughs> Listen. All right, listen. I shall stand on my guard post Mm -hmm. and station myself on the rampart. And I shall keep watch to see what he shall speak to me and how I may, re may reply on, when I am reproved. He said, and he want to know what now? <clears throat> and how I may reply when I am reproved. Oh. And he want to know how he going to reply when he's reproved? And what did he tell him to do? Then Yahuwah answered me and said. Do what? Katab the Kazoon. See what he told him? He told him to write the vision. And do what? And how complicated it need to be? And inscribe it on tables mm -hmm. that the one who reads it may run. See that? So somebody can understand it. <clears throat> see that? Put it down where people can see it so they can understand it. See, everybody keep trying to give you something to make things more complicated. And that's been our problem for years. People keep thinking the more complex it is, the more complicated it is, the more it's towards salvation. But it's never been his plan. That's never been their plan. Don't make sense to give you nothing complicated you can't understand. Everything they dealt with was in a similitude of things they naturally operated in. See, everybody keep trying to go and figure something extra when really you wasted a whole lot of time. It's really not as complicated as you made it. You did it because you think it has to be. It don't <clears> make <throat> sense to be their plan. It's got to be more to this. No, it's simply told you. If you're a hard man, I got to do something to show them I love him, though. Some what can I what can I do? Cause I've been wrestling all night long trying to figure how can I show the Lord I love Him with all my heart. How what I need to be able to create something for Him. I need to be able to, to speak in a tongue to where I need to be able to perform in a way where He know I love Him and what He told me to do. <clears throat> but I, I I know I know about that. Keep it coming. But I'm just thinking though, it's something. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm doing enough and you're trying to cover up for what you're not doing. Cause it make no mm -hmm. sense. I tell you what I'm doing. I ain't looking for nothing extra. Mm -hmm. I ain't looking for nothing extra to do. That's you. You go ahead and do it. A lot of time folk had to, cause I guarantee you, if you were doing everything he told you, you ain't got no time, no extra. Go ahead and be a fool if you want to now. I, I guarantee you. Show me you done did everything. Show me. Can I, can I come get some extra credit work? Not somebody passing. Who asking for that kind of work? You got somebody who 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 run who blowing the doors off in your class talking about let me get some extra credit work. In other teachers, what about you, Dwight? Who'd you ask for extra credit work? 
Yeah, there's something else I could be doing for the Lord. Yes, it's something else. That I know, I know, I got the obey stuff. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's something yeah. I know, I know, I see it. Just think, this, this, this stupid faith messes me up every time. I ain't looking for nothing extra to do. Right. <laughs> no, sir, I'm trying to do everything he told me to do. It's enough. Right. He done told me, man, he said, it's enough that the abode be as his are done. Yeah. <clears throat> Isn't that right? You don't be, you don't be greater than them. Just stop it. Just go ahead and just sit down and let, let me just be like. Isn't that right? Don't let these folk fool y'all. These people make a fool. Like, come on, man, right quick. Fit that fourth chapter right quick. Got to be some kind of conclusion to this stuff. We all over the place. When you're done on them king kids, you got to come up with something quick. <laughs> and the fact, let me tell you something, Tom Tom Smith. <laughs> I can dream too. <laughs> I bet it dry. Man, it dry. <laughs> man, it dry. <laughs> right. Listen. Let the fourth chapter stay. What we at verse what? 20 something? 20 what? 28? All right. 4 and 28. Um, fourth chapter of Oriel, they call Luke. Listen. When everyone who was in the Beth of the Sonigan, some of these Dabarim, they were filled with anger. They come up and pushed him outside the city, <laughs> the earth, and they brought oh, they him. Oh, they pushed him outside the earth? Ear. Boy, okay, yeah, the earth, yeah, the earth, okay, that's that, push my side, the earth, go ahead. I'm like, man, that's, that's kind of, I'm like, Dwayne with that police brought them tickets, that's excessive. <laughs> <laughs> that's excessive. All right, listen. And they brought him to the bro of the har upon which. They brought him to the board of the har. Which their ear was built in which, order to uh, throw him down. Which their city was built to throw him down. But he passed through in their midst and went on his rock. See what they did? That boy had took them. Listen, they pushed him out of the sun again and had that man right there at the border of the heart of the city. And they were going to throw the man over. That's how sick people are. See that, see that, because uh, he's going to be calling it, see that, uh, Shafatine. Shafatine 15. Give me 15 about, they call it Judges, 15, and give me probably about verse 7. Let's see what that's saying. Shah, Fa, Tim, 15, what's that, about 7? <clears throat> that's Judges for those watching who don't know. That's Judges. So we're looking at Judges. Listen. Shamshun said to them, Though you do like this, yet I shall surely take revenge on you. I'm going to take revenge on you. Even though you've done that, he said, you did like this, I'm going to take revenge on you. Mm -hmm. But after that, I shall cease. He said, after that, I stop. You ain't going to believe it. After Yahushua come out here and he worked revenge on these people because they did it like that. Huh? After, then you ask something, how do you do that? They're going to say, how do you do that? He said, because <clears> they did it like that. That's how I'm going to do that. After that, I'm going to cease. Listen. He smote them hip on thigh, a great slaughter, and he went down and lived in the cleft of the sewer of Etam. Mm -hmm. Then the Philistine went up and camped in Yehuda and spread out in Lekai. The Anashim of Yehuda said, why have you come up against us? Mm -hmm. And they said, we have come up to bind Shemshun to do to him as he did to us. That's what he said. Then the 3,000 Anashim of Yehuda went down <coughs> to the cliff of the sewer of Etim and said to Shamshun, do you not know that the Philistine are rulers over us? What then is this that you have done to us? And he said to them, as they did to me, so I have done to them. That's what he did. Come on. They said to him, we have come down to bind you, to give you into the hands of the Philistine. We'll come down to bind you, put your hand on Philistine. Uh -huh. And Shamshun said to them, Shabbat to me that you shall not fall upon me yourselves. Mm -hmm. So they said to him, saying, no, but we shall bind you fast and give you into their hands. Yet surely we shall not kill you. Uh -huh. And they bound him with two new ropes and brought him up from the sewer. Mm-hmm. When he came to Lekai, the Philistine shouted at meeting him, and the Ruach of Yahuwah came upon him mightily so that the ropes that were on his arms were as flax that is burned with fire. That's that fine. That, that's tight. 
That's tight. <clears throat> I, I guess while we count one of him, we're just kind of looking at some things. That look. Did you ever look up that word? N-E-T? I think it's S-O-R-A-H. You're probably not going to find it in a uh, Hebrew lexicon. Probably go to their Google. Did you look it up? <clears throat> mm. Well, I don't yeah, you know the ooh is actually gonna be the ooh anyway. It's gonna be the ooh. So a, what is that? And you find a definition to it? Click it. That's it. What is that? Like a book. I don't want to buy a book. So let's find a meaning. So I put Hebrew meaning. See what it say. <clears throat> do the Naz, do they Nazareth. <clears throat> Just do they Nazareth and see what it show you. Was that in Wikipedia? There you go. No, no, come at, come at what you said. The traditional view is the word derived from the Hebrew word for Nazareth that was used in the ancient time. Nazareth in turn may be derived from either Netzer, meaning to I know you weren't paying attention. That's what you're trying to tell you. He's going to lift him up because he's going to be watching. <clears throat> I know you weren't paying attention. I'll just take you out around. That's why he sat up on the heart and they came to him. He was teaching him. That's why he constantly kept going to the Mount of Olives because mm. he was watching. That's when they told you when they crucified him, they put him on the place of a skull because I know you don't know what you're doing because he was watching. Just not that clever. You should have paid attention when, Nam when Shamshun had destroyed them people. You didn't notice he went to the cliff. He was watching. <laughs> Why you think he told you saw anything to come? He told you to go to the harm. Mm -hmm. That's our custom. We're watching. You know where these niggas at? In the valley. <laughs> <clears throat> you know these dumb rappers yeah. digging a hole in the ground. Yeah. Just dumb. That's not in my custom. That's what worms do. That's right. I know I'm not a worm. I'm not digging a hole in no ground. That's right. I'm gonna be watching. That's right. That's what Kabaku told you. I'm gonna stand upon my watch, yeah. so I can see what I answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. He told Moses how to go down in no hole. He told the man to come up. That's right. Mm -hmm. If you pay attention to the 23rd chapter, right quick, of the book of uh, Bar, uh, Bar, <coughs> 23 and one. I know y'all figured I was just sitting here talking. Why y'all think it was important to pay attention how to break down of the name? He just told you, him, his Elohim exalted. What was he exalting him for? Watch. Because he was watching. But Mod Bar. Uh, 23 and 1. What I told you? 4 or 5? Did I say 1? I'll shoot 1. Listen. Then Balaam said to Balak, What is that? Build seven altars for me here, and prepare seven bulls and seven rams for me here. Balak did just as Balaam had spoken, and Balak and Balaam offered up a bull and a ram on the altar. Mm -hmm. Then Balaam said to Balak, Stand beside your burnt offering, and I shall go. Perhaps Yahuwah shall come to meet me, and he shows me the things which I shall tell you. So he went, 
To a bare hill. He went where now? To a bare hill. What name of that valley? To a bare hill. What happened? Now Elohim met Balaam and said to him, What did he tell him? I have set up seven, I have set up the seven altars, and I have offered up a bull and a ram on the altar. Mm -hmm. Then Yahuwah put a debar in Balaam's paw and said, Return to Balak. Put a word in his mouth. And you shall speak thus. And what you going to tell him? So he returned to him, and behold, he was standing beside his burnt offering, mm -hmm. he and all the leaders of Moab. He took up his mashali and said, what is from that? Aram, Balak has brought me Moab's Malak. You said that? He brought me from Aram. That's the heights. Isn't that right? Yaram, Yaram, Yahu, Yahu, be exalted. <coughs> Makes sense for me to be down in the valley. That makes sense to be in a hole somewhere. And you know the nigga conversation, you know, man, nigga in a hole, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't know what the custom is. Listen. Moab's Malak from the harem of the Kadim. Oh, what happened? Come all I, Jacob, for me. He told him to come and curse Jacob. And come denounce Yasharal. Uh-huh, and go and, and defy him, go ahead. How shall I all I whom all has not all I? He said, who am I curse who all had not curse? And how can I denounce whom Yahuwah has not denounced? Who can I defy somebody he hadn't defined or denounce him? Listen. As I see him from the top of the sewer. Wait, hold on a minute. What are you saying, Matt? The top of the sewer. What happened? And I look at him from the hills. Where you look at him from? From the hills. What you want, son? Behold. A arm who dwells apart and shall not be reckoned among the Gawins. He ain't going to believe that. He talking about Anessa, separated. Yasharal was Anessa. He got to know what they be doing. Mm -hmm. He just told them, sorry, they meant separated. You looked it up <coughs> for yourself. He was trying to tell they were separated. And I see him from the top of the mountain. That's right. And you get stuck on a stick. Listen. Who can count the dust of your cold? Or number the fourth well, part of Yashar. Abraham. Abraham. Don't it make sense? All you gotta do is look at the Torah. Who can count it? He told if you're able. What happened? Let my nafash moot the moot from the from the upright and let my end be like his. <laughs> oh my and you know I'ma be in the valley. I'm gonna be down in a hole trying to hide. The man just told you he want his last state to be like him. What you think I want my last state to be like? I gotta meet the man in L. Hello? Yes, sir. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. I didn't mean to boy y'all. Y'all must already knew this. No, sir. Well, I was just listening to y'all tomorrow. Because I tell you, I'm a Nasser. Yes, sir. I'm a Nasser all day. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. And I'm a Nasser. I'm separated. Yes, sir. See, a lot of study folks, a lot of people, let me try something. Don't, I don't, I just, okay. That's where we at now. A lot of study, a lot of people don't understand. This whole thing is, it's so... It's got so many dynamic turns to it, and when you're going, it's just too many things. These people get stuck on one little thing. It's like, you couldn't possibly know what you're doing. He does too much. That's all you saw. Hello? Yes, sir. Do you understand now why he did something? that? Why he, look where they were trying to throw him from. Where were the whole city at? You missed that, didn't you? Mm. You saw they tried to push him, you saw how they tried to push him up the hill? No. Where they tried to throw him from? Top of the mountain. Where was the city built on? Mount. Hello? Yeah. Let me write quick. Let me pick this up. Yes, you Yahoo 2 and 1. I'll try to let y'all go. Y'all get ready to get in your pocket. Now, I don't want y'all to think no more of me than what you think now. I still the same person. I still can't read and write. Y'all hear me? Don't think too much of me. I'm struggling and barely holding on. But the best they're going to get ain't going to pass it. That's right. He done took the lowest of what he had and just shown them they really don't be knowing what they're doing. They really, it's, it's too many things that they really don't understand. It's too basic. But I try to tell y'all, don't, don't look at these people's work. You, listen, I don't read none of these people's work. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead and find it. Go find who work out on read. I don't read none of these people's stuff. I, man, I waste my time. I don't go through these folks' video. I don't read these people's stuff because I already know. I already know what you're doing. All these guys are copy paste. <coughs> copy paste. Copy paste. Copy paste. Don't watch these people. They're going to mess you up. Because once I ask them, say, what's your intent? What's your intent? What you trying to do? I'm trying to be rational. I can debate these people. Don't even watch them. 
You know what the man told from? He said, where wars come from. That's right. Jacob told you to come to bay. I ain't got no being away with no, no, no fools and like that. All we trying to do is stand them up. That's right. We just, all we want to do is find out what's the right way. What are we supposed to be doing? See, all, that's what I told you. If you just went there to just see a man of stink, you tell me, that's it. He is a, he's a Nazareth. That's all you know. It makes sense. He put him on top of the hill for a reason. He told you. I can see him. Why are he going to tell you the end he told you to go to the heart? Even better had enough said to say, let my last estate be as his. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go see where them folk were burying that. That's why, that, that's why I, get, I tell you about that burying the ground. You don't think that was kind of funny when people always buried up in the cave? Mm -hmm. When Abraham buried Sarah, you remember how he buried her down that valley? All stuff you do, you just don't pay attention. Like, ain't that wrong when you do what you want to do? I mean, you can say what I want to. I'm just telling the man said. He said, let my last estate be as his. Yeah. That's all the man said. Let my last estate be as his. You know what you heard? You heard you need to go build your underground bunker. Yeah. Well, you can take H2O <laughs> and make it into water. <laughs> These folks ain't even embarrassed. Yeah, as a friend, you all pull somebody and say, you know what you said? You said you got a machine made water in the water. Yeah. I got here, none of them friends that tell us, hey man, pull that post down, man. Yeah. Them folks laughing at you. You don't make it, you don't make it sound look real bad out there. Because don't nobody, don't nobody care. Well, you know, a human. That's not human. That's your intelligence. Stop fighting these people. You think your hook ain't gonna, he ain't gonna come and get you in that ground. I don't know what people are thinking. You can't get away from your hook. Tell these people the truth. What are these people thinking? These people stacking up. How long do you think you're going to stay down now? Then they taking call. Where you going to get their gas from? Right. These folks are going to take gas down now. When he hit them, all of them going to burn up down now. Right. Folks, just use y'all here. I ain't digging nothing in no ground. I ain't done. Listen, this is what I'm focused on. I'm focused on making sure I'm right. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on making sure we right. Everybody. I ain't got time for that stuff. Everything you who got for it, it's going to come to pay. Y'all hear me? Let's hear what he said. This two, and, this two and one, Yeshayahu, they call Isaiah. Let's see what he said. The debar which Yeshayahu, the being of Amus, saw concerning Yehuda and Jerusalem. Do what he saw now. He saw, who you say saw they with now? Concerning Yehuda and Jerusalem. He saw Yehuda and who? Jerusalem. And Jerusalem. That's what he saw. I'm Yehuda. I, that stuff you're doing, I don't see it. I'm just being honest with you. I don't see it. I see this, though. This, you got to have raw. You got to have, you got to be able to see. Listen. Now it shall come to pass that in the last Yamin. It's gonna come to pass in the last Yamin. The heart of the Beth of Yahuwah. The, the, the mountain of the Beth of Yahuwah shall be established. Where? Well, as the Rosh of the Harim. It's gonna be in the top. It's gonna be in the top of the heart. Now, why in the world am I trying to dig something in the ground? I don't think I need to be digging the ground if I'm burying a seed. I ain't got no business trying to dig me no refuge in no ground. I want to care one of y'all doing it. I'm going to run you all. Cause I know, cause one council. This, this, mm -hmm. What day are we in right now? Why am I trying to go down? That's right. I'm supposed to be getting ready to go up. That's right. See, the folk try to tell you <clears throat> these folk contrary. These folk put darling for light. They put bitter for sweet. They call two Rosha. Yeah. These the last day. Where I'm supposed to be. The man that told me his house is going to be in the top of the heart. That's what the next rock gonna do. We're gonna be in the top. Even Shem Shun went up to the top. Yeah. He told he was in the cliffs. Mm -hmm. What are these people doing? When all Yahoo, after he had done sat there and he had done showed out Balaam, what valley that was he was in? He was in the top. We told Mushar, you remember Mushar met him down in that hole? Mm -mm. Come up. Come up. He been establishing it. This ain't the new, how you gonna watch? That man I told you, watch it well and pray. What I'm going to see in the ground? <laughs> Quit being dumb. Quit following these people. Elon Musk, quit following these diamonds. That's right. The man don't even know the, the platform called Twitter. I'm not running to no X. How you tweet an X? Just stop it. It's Twitter. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Come on, old Rusty Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> I got over my new fan, old Rusty Dusty. <laughs> Come on. 
and shall be coom above the hills. Oh my goodness. Gonna be a coom above the hill? Yes, sir. And what's gonna happen? And all the Goeem shall and how many? All the, all the nation shall stream to it. What happened? And many arms shall come and many say. Many people gonna coincide. Let us go up to Let the heart. Let us go down with Elon Musk. Let us go up. And Jeff Bezos. Let us go up to the heart of Yahuwah, to the Beth of the all of your code. So what are these people gonna be if they go up? They're gonna be, and on it, they're gonna be Nazarites. That's what you're trying to tell you. They're gonna be Nazarites. That's what they're gonna be. The branch, even when a branch with a tree, where the tree don't grow down, it grow up. See, when you do it, it's more things involved than what you're thinking. These people get sold on one idea. That's what I heard. Get out the idea. Let's go. What I'm telling y'all is not an idea. I'm not telling what theoretical. I'm telling you what they literally did. The man is sitting here telling you what's going up. The man was going up in heart. That's why I told you when people came and watched them, they were paying attention. These people not paying attention. They're trying to find something clever to do. That's why they were watching him. What he was doing. Where he was residing at. Don't you know they told you he often, when they told you about the amount of honor, they told you he was there every day. Because every day, guess what he was doing? Why, and what you supposed to be doing? We ain't on Shabbat. He was going there every day because he was watching. They asked these people, said, why was he going to Mount Olive? Well, you know, he liked to have him on his pizza, so he would go there. You know, they were cheaper. So I know, that's it. That, don't even argue with him say, you got it. <laughs> so how that bunker come along you, Billy? That's because that's what they had. Oh, you know about that? Mm -hmm. I know it's got to be one. Oh, rusty dusty. <laughs> you both, stop it. Y'all just stop it. So I'm about to ask y'all, y'all a Nazi, what y'all gonna tell them? Yes, All right, you're a prince, you're a ruler. What you scared of, what you scared of your title for? That them people, that they hang up. Anybody scared of, you ain't even, what you said wrong? Right. You give a, I don't wanna offend nobody. Y'all what, listen, we gonna offend a lot of things. When you stand for the Amat, you saw what happened to them? Some yeah. folk like who's let on, they told you, everybody hated him. Yeah. What did he say wrong? What did he came to say? I came to give sight to people mm -hmm. blind. Right. I came to set people free. And let them be and sit here and open the doors of the prisoner. Right. And folk hate you for that. Yeah. That show you with him. When all these folk love you, just know why they love you. Because right. right. you agree and you consent in what they do. Yeah. It's the same thing a lot of y'all found. A lot of them cut y'all. Start consenting with what they do. Yeah, that's right. I know what you're trying. Ah, I'm here. Yeah, you know you A lot of them ain't going to like you the way you think you if you stood on something. That's right. And you know these folks are, I don't go see my family. I don't tell y'all I don't go see nobody. You go see your family, just hold a stand up. That's right. I see my daughter. I know folks are there. You know, we can't go see our family. When I talk now. Never. You see your family doing something, got no benefit. No, I can't come now. That's right. I come here, everybody gonna be butt naked. I ain't coming. I ain't coming. I don't wanna see your rusty dusty. <laughs> you gonna be doing something, got no benefit? No. I gotta, hey, we gonna be snorting some cocaine. Well, preacher said we can go see our family. You crackhead. No good way you ain't supposed to go there, got no crack. I'll call the police and get you locked up. That's right. Look at Prince. I, we can't. Yeah. But no, but no, I'm telling you, y'all know people gonna be doing something, got no, ain't got time for that. Mm -hmm. And folks gonna be doing something, acting normal, go see, you go see your parents, why you want your job when you got them? That's right. My daddy gone, I, I miss the old man, period. I don't want to fuss at him or nothing like that, but. I don't mind seeing it, had them like that, but I mean, ain't nothing wrong with saying nobody, that's your family. You don't tell y'all. When y'all lose them, y'all will see. Mm -hmm. You sit right here, listen, you ain't gonna get but one parent. That's right. You don't get one set for them. Well, I got somebody, treat them while you got them. That's you know what right. I mean? You spent food, you got food, cut the food, I ain't got a food with you. That's right. Yeah, it ain't hard, you wanna cut the food, I ain't got a food with you. Mm -hmm. But you doing what you put, you ain't doing that when you offending, you ain't doing that come against it, I ain't got no problem with that. That's right. Y'all hear me? I got family members. I heard, I'm a, me and my cousin, we grew up, we were real close. We were like brothers and sisters for a lot of, a lot of stayed with each other, you know. We that country, that country stuff, you from house to house, we all do something. Anyone my auntie cooking, let you eat, they gonna be watching you now. Like, that's enough, ain't it? Like, no, ain't enough. Yeah, they cut, they ain't gonna, they feed you one time, like that. You ain't get no two plate, they'll treat you right now, they'll feed that one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, since you said it. Like that got that, ain't it? <laughs> but other than that, but I mean, shh, that's how you got to do it. Not to treat folk. I know folks, yeah, you know we can't go out there it's sin. Well, that's what you believe what you do. And they doing something, ain't got no bidding. You ain't got no bid with nobody. What is your family, nobody else? That's right. 
Ain't about no family. They, they say a lot of y'all do that stuff now. You be kicking with these sinners out here now, and they gonna holler you can't go with your family they center. Now which sinners you saying right? That's right. That's right. You gotta be right in what you're doing now. That's right. I do better with folks. I don't, they folks tell you, listen, I don't go nowhere, I don't go no obscure places with nobody. They'll tell you, I don't play no stuff like that. I know how to deal with people still keep listening. I hear people come and say what they say. They know that's them. That stuff <clears> don't move me. I don't control nobody that mouth that they mouth, just like they don't control mine. I know when I don't hear something go, I know how to leave. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Y'all got it. You want to smoke with it? I know how to walk out and be done with it. I know, you know you're going to burn this shit. Listen, if you're who don't put nothing on my Lord, says, I keep my mouth very close. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, why you ain't preaching them? So you need to shut your mouth. Because you who don't put on me saying that nobody, I leave it right where you at. I know for me, if I don't preach it, that's why you ain't, because you'll run your mouth when you ain't supposed to. There's some people you who ain't even trying to get to hear nothing. Yeah. That been I deal with this. And he don't want me to say, I don't go bother now. What I ain't got no time to get bothered. Listen, you have a right to be the biggest homemonger sin you want to be. And I got the right not to be around you, not be involved. Yeah. When he led on me to say, tell you something, I said, well, I'm going to tell you this. I just, and I know how to offer it to a person the way you hear it. And you, I see where you engage. When you catch it, we'll talk a little more. If not, I leave where it's at. That's it. You can't make nobody do nothing. Go out here trying to preach to nobody. You don't know what you're doing. Leave it alone. That's how you get tied up. Now leave these sinners alone. They know just enough to get you aggravated. Now, now you're going to sit here and you're made a man. Now you're ready to fight them. Which way, which way is it? You're trying to say, now you're ready to fight them. That's why you got to leave people alone. All you do is live your life. People get to say, let, let me ask you something. I, I know this. Oh, okay. So, so, so. Tell them just enough they need to know. They come out, well, let me ask you about this. They engage. They come to me. Otherwise, I leave where they're at. I'm be going around, man, they got all these folks. I can save all these folks. Man, I'm studying the folks. I'm trying to get the way I'm going. Well, he put it on me to let me tell them. Then we'll have a conversation. Otherwise than that, leave people where they at. I know some of here probably watching. Where they at? Don't be out here trying to teach nobody. You're not following me. I don't say these folks. Just go out here and just preach these folks. Leave them alone. <coughs> when he sent them, he sent them to the, to the Beth of Yasharal. Mm -hmm. He told them to go only to the Beth of Yasharal. That's the only people because they were going to know the Torah. They understood the doctrine. Ideology. You're trying to teach some of the people they don't even know. That's right. They're too basic. That's right. They don't understand nothing. I'm just, you're trying to go talk about all they know is Jesus. You know how much stuff I got to go over with these people? Yeah. And you think if it be a quick conversation, the people he, all, when who he met didn't know nothing. He met nobody didn't know nothing. That's the whole, where the book has some people that knew nothing. These people all knew something. Yeah. All you had to do was put some clarification on some things that they had misdiagnosed. Yeah. He ain't going nobody, ain't know nothing. He ain't leave them people alone. When he said, your car's a call, he sent him to the better yards wrong. He said, I'm not saying you know people that are hard of speech. Right. I'm not saying, he said, these people know. Mm -hmm. He never said that nobody didn't know nothing. That's right. You starting from ground level with these people. There they go. He was doing recovery. And you getting recovery to the blind, what are you saying? They once could see. Right. I take a man they ain't never seen that. You know how much work I got to do? Hello? Even the blind man who eyes, he opened. The man knew something. He didn't know who he was, but he knew had it been said that any man opened the eyes of the blind. He said he couldn't do nothing except he was an Allahim. So was he totally ignorant? He told him who was it? He said he wanted to know so he could should call him how he knew how to adore and how to worship. Man knew something, didn't he? He folks trying to run around, you mess with people, leave people alone. I know what I'm doing. I got you here, don't I? I'm stupid enough to hold you and I don't know what I'm doing with these people out there. You think them people sitting on the end of this camera for these hours for nothing? Skill. He said a man room bring it before great people. Y'all hear me? A man skill, it'll bring it now. A man not use it will, it put it away, it's supposed to be. Them people ain't just sitting there for nothing. Them people could have cut them things off and been gone somewhere, gone to the mall somewhere. Them people know they're getting taught. Just like you sitting here, you know you're getting taught. There's other people out there, it ain't for everybody. That's why y'all need to sit back and look at the particular and look at how much he favored you. Yeah. Me and Ray were having a conversation about his job. He was coming about some, on his job about a situation and um, how he would kind of every time try to let y'all go about um, they would let they let everybody go, just let people go. And they had him now work. He was like he had to do all that work. They put all that work on Ray while they were sitting there. And they were sending the rest of them home. So he was stuck down pretty much by himself, wasn't it? Three people, they let them go right there and let him go. And he was irritated with the whole thing. But I told him, I said, well, what you do is just do what you can. You know? I said, I don't know what, just do what you can. I said, doing it, you perform the way you're supposed to perform. I said, because there's a reason why he put you in that position. I let him know later on. I said, he could have either been that they sent you home and let them stay. Mm -hmm. I said, you think them folks got sent home? Them folks got bill. Ain't nobody working for no fun. How many of y'all here working for fun? I don't work. I got to have some money. 
pay some bills. Yeah. Them folks could have sent you home. I said, you who would just show you how he favored you? So sometimes you can look at it from that perspective. We had a good time. He said it gave him a different look on it. I said, all you can do is what you can do. Mm-hmm. I ain't finna think because somebody sitting here about home. I'm, I know what I can do. And I'm going to perform to my, to my ability because that's what Yahuwah gave me to do. He saw fit. I told him to favor you. And he sent them home. Yeah. It's a coming we got. You can't just find no job. These jobs are hard. And anybody picking you up no start no day either. These folks, look at these folks got a long list of people they can go through. So you figure he sat down, he showed you favor to say, I let you stay. And sometimes when he'll show up, we be looking at him to show a favor when he do, we start mumbling and groaning because we look at it from the wrong point. Why I got to do this all by myself? Why them folk get to go home and I'm sitting here to work? He said, because that's how I ordained it. They were going to send you home and keep the other two. But I favored you. Because you sat home a few days and you ain't make no money. How you going to pay your bill? He tell my preacher, no, you win. And they have a song called Eviction. <laughs> I'm right one called Eviction. I'm just saying, all of us, a lot of them be complaining. Let me tell you something. We in the worst time we done seen. Yeah. These folks now got you with all them high salary these folks give you. I ain't got to pay y'all that. We bet $8 an hour, $10. You don't need it? You don't want it? Because I can get somebody. Man, them salary, these salary were way too high. And people weren't even qualified. Man, we paying truck drivers. These retard, $1,800 a week. $2,000 a week. I said, I wouldn't pay them that. $1,000. A good hot thousand. You're going to run your drawers off. Man, no, 25. You don't even own the truck. They're making more than I was. I don't have somebody driving the truck that I own make more money than I make. That makes no sense. But the salary got too high. They don't realize what it needed. Actually, everything happened needed to crash. The housing market, where they got it at. Them better, had they not stopped at the high interest rate y'all crying about, you couldn't afford the house that they had 1%. These houses were selling for seventy thousand dollars over asking price. Where y'all think this market? Where y'all think the market was going? Then he folks him, I'm gonna sell my house. Soon as you sold it, tell me how you finna afford the next one. If they'd have kept it at a two percent interest rate, at a house a million dollars, how you gonna afford it? Don't y'all know they were trapping you? See, a lot of stuff I tell you, people be talking. You don't know nothing about business. We don't know nothing about business. That's why you better keep your mouth shut and just wait. Listen, Jerome Powell did a good job they're doing by freedom. Yes, it hurt it up. I came back. You see where it, it settled the housing market prices. Yeah. Go see these folks tomorrow. I got four bin on my house. Nobody ain't been on that house. You lucky if you get rid of it. That, guess what? That helped you out. You can't even afford them. The American dream is over. What what a hundred thousand house? Just when you bought your house through it back then it was what? A hundred thousand yeah. dollars? That was how long ago? What, fifteen years ago? No. Twenty years? How long ago that was? Seven, eight years ago, we had a hundred thousand. Now you, the average home is three fifty. Yeah. That's the, that's that's skyrocketing. Yeah. What y'all think? Now think about this. Had they not stopped this just a couple of years ago, putting this interest rate up, where y'all think these price, where these prices gonna go? These prices gonna go? Mm-hmm. Who in here can afford a million dollar house? A million and a half. What you, that what you, that's where you were going. Yeah. Which means everything's gonna collapse. So a lot of times you talking, you who know what he's doing? These people just stupid enough to do what he told them. Give you enough time to get you something so you can get out of it. Yeah. I'm just trying to tell you, a lot of I tell people, a lot of times, ain't, ain't, no, do I know everything? No. But I'm trying to tell you a lot of stuff. Don't listen to these people. A lot of these folks ain't did no business. That's why I tell you, just stop it. Stop these folks. A lot of these folks ain't made no money. They ain't made money from going to a job. Right. <laughs> I'm talking about you had to get, you had to make your own, you had to create from nothing. Most, no, most of folks don't know. And so you don't understand how business work. They need them, them interest As soon as the interest I'm telling you what's going to be the flip-flop for you. I'm going to buy me something. If you're smart, you do what I tell you to do. Most of you won't do it. Carrie had time one time I told him to buy back then. You remember that? Now you go to, not wish, but we would have grabbed it then. We'd been better. Look how they made it astronomical. This is going to be your trick. You want to buy now. I'll tell you why. This is going to be the flip. Eventually, they're going to drop the interest rate. You're going to get got. Because these houses are going to shoot through the roof. Soon they know. When they change them interest rate, they already know what everybody's going to do. People are going to start selling and moving. They're going to start rolling because the market going to be and people going to be big. They don't have enough inventory. They, don't have, they got more people need housing than they got houses. So when you have limited supply, everything is based on supply and demand. Most of you don't know business, okay? When you have limited of something, you can charge more for it. When you have too many, you have to cut the cost because it's, it's common, Okay? Understand the market. Your time is going to be is now. They're going to get you. And I know this is where black people get dumbed up every time. The, mar- this, the cycle always goes like this. You crash and burn and you jump out because you start saying it. It does this. It's designed to do what? When rich people get so, when they get money, they can't get but so much money. 
The only way to get some more money, to get more money, you got to create a crash. When a crash comes, get what you start doing. Huh, huh, get it, come, huh, get it, get it, get it. Then guess what? They buying. More y'all selling, more y'all selling, more y'all selling, more y'all selling, sold. They done bought up. Then start there. Man, I got to get my behind and get me one. Man, I got to get me one. Man, I got to get him. I got to get one. He back up him. Because when you come back to buy, he made him money because he created a scam. You ran and you sold. You folded. You got out. The market always does this. You know, you learn this when you're doing business. Start crashing when it do this. This is how they make their money. Because once I'm here, this is how I can go. So the only way to peak it, I got to create a scam. The day the news, they said such and such happened, such and such finished crash. Oh, goodness. I got to hurry up and get out. I got to get out. Oh, man. They start shooting their way. This is where they tell you it's going. And you and you losing it. You have lost it. You gave up everything. Because you got to do it. And they start going back up here. The, the nigga never catches him. This is where the nigga buy. And he don't realize you were already here one time at a cheaper price. The poor man, the nigga, all the same people. Poor white, poor blacks, uneducated people, you fold every time you want here. Because so, this is what you do if y'all have sense. Okay? Yes, it's high. Guess what's going to happen? The rate's going to go down. So guess what I do? I refinance. I refi. You don't think. You crash. I'm going to wait till the rates drop down. This is what you do. You wait till the rates get here and watch where the houses be at. You're not a thinker. Y'all got to learn how to think. I told y'all, most of y'all, your friend, y'all have a dumb conversation. You know what I'm talking about now? Go, go, how many of your friends do real business? Ask them. How many of your friends? None. So all your information be disinformation, misinformation. Don't listen to these people. I had to survive off what I do. Y'all got it? Yes, I survived. That's how I pay my bills off what I do. I got to be able to pay attention to what these people do. I got to be able to make moves. I got to be, that's not why I can survive. I have to be able to do it. So I had to pay attention to what these people do. And I learned these people will scare you and make you jump out. And you don't give up. They ain't going nowhere. Go, go look up. Go look. The economy bad right now. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do, the, do me a favor. Y'all don't know you pay attention. Is the economy, will y'all agree the economy at the bad place? Do y'all agree that? Look up Warren Buffett sells everything. <laughs> Let's just see. Let's see. Let's see. Warren Buffett sells off stuff. I'm learning with y'all. Can we do that? Would y'all not agree this? If you got stuff to sell, this would be your best time when you hurt right now. <clears throat> they sold eight billion dollars worth of stock. How much he made? No, oh, that was in 2003. Warren Buffett sold uh, that 2000 investors who famously said the best holding period for stocks is forever. Sold 13 billion dollars in stock. Let me tell you the question. I'm tell you something. Do y'all know why he sold them stock? Do y'all know why he sold them stock? Because people who watch him, people move by what Warren Buffett does. Warren Buffett can afford to sell $13 billion worth of stock. You know why? Because he know the rest of them going to dump there, and he's going to come right back and get them. That's how he's going to make his money. See, you, this, this is what people don't realize. How many of y'all familiar with the 1928 stock market crash? Was it 28, 27? 29. How many of y'all familiar with that? The stock market crash, or not, every time they say, man, they like the stock market. Hold on for me. Come on, come on. Right there. No, no, over Lamont. You had to hear about it. Ain't no way in the world you've seen it. You know about the 1929 stock market crash? For a while. Social studies? Go up and put it on that boy. Them, t- them folk don't know nothing. You ask me about it. You talked to Malcolm. Malcolm was him. Man, I, was like, I remember when the shuckle fell. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but, but, but see, with, with that is how they created what they call the Federal Reserve. Most, some of y'all know that anyway. We went over that, sent y'all that information right before. That's how they created the Federal Reserve. That actually didn't happen. They actually came in and convinced it. The Chase Manhattan, all these big names from England came in and convinced them. Woodrow Wilson was who they tricked. He was the president at the time. Woodrow Wilson later wrote, he hate, he did that. They convinced him that if the if there was a crash of the market or, or the banks, that they couldn't pay the money out to people if people came for the money. Of course, he thinking didn't make sense. Why would they? First of all, you was on a gold standard. You went on this fiat. The fiat is just fake money they create. That's not real money. Okay, it's all an illusion. That's why they creating this company. That all these countries come together. Saudi Arabia, they claim they hadn't joined. Iran, Russia, Brazil, and India is because they're trying to create what they call back to the gold standard, where you actually have something to substantiate your value. 
it doesn't work today. This is why America, that's why England, Europe, this is why they have survived so long. You have to create this fake system in order to get people, because you don't have gold. They don't have it. And they're looking at where the economy is. So this fake system they have is why you still out here, like that credit. A lot of people, if it went for credit, you wouldn't have nothing. This gold system wouldn't allow you to buy what you think you have. So gold is an essential mineral, make no mistake. But when you're really looking at a system, you will collapse the whole world off the gold system. So that whole thing they're doing with this brick, this Bryce, everybody run, I got to run, go get gold. I got to run, go. Go ahead, retard, okay? The fiat system is bigger. These people don't have enough people to accentuate it. This fake system is why you still him. They give you dollar bills you traded that they have nothing to back it up with. Okay? That gold said they're gonna come in. You take all your money and transfer it to gold. How much you think you got, baby? What you got, baby? Baby ain't got one, you ain't got one coin hook. So you need this fake fiat system they have, okay? So what they did, they went and convinced them to create what they call the Federal Reserve, which is not federal, which is a private entity that's controlling rates. Their private entity put the scale saying, hey, banks don't have your money. Basically got your money how basically so what you do you run and go get your money so everybody went to the bank and guess what happened with the bank the banks didn't have the money so guess what happened that made the banks were crooks and liars let me tell you how a bank work candy you bring me five dollars that he put in his bank account and you give me ten dollars your bank account okay now these guys come back and get their five and ten dollars come back and get your money so what you happen to the bank why am i holding their money for free what I'm going to take his $5 and do, and his $10, I'm going to take Dane, I'm going to loan him the $5 for 20 I'm going to loan the $10 to, to, to Austin for $50. So now when they come back to withdraw their 5 and their 10 I have money paid. I have to make money from holding your money. People are so dumb. This is how dumb they are. Oh, these banks ain't got your money. You retard. How you think I'm going to pay these people and pay lights? I'm taking your money, investing your money. I'm loaning your money. I'm putting your money in the market. I'm buying assets. That's how I'm able to hold your money for either free or a small limited amount of money that you can go online, transfer, bill pay for free because people ain't got no brain. Man, you don't, man, you don't even bank. These banks ain't got your money. <laughs> these crackers, man, they ain't got your money. Leave these monkey niggas alone. <laughs> What you think you so you've been paying me on a policy. Canada just happened to have a two hundred thousand dollar policy that he pays me ninety three dollars a month for. So who got a calculator? Canada had been paying. Let me see who got a calculator. Get, get your calculator. Canada pays me ninety three dollars a month. Canada had been paying me on this two hundred thousand dollar policy ninety three dollars a month for five years. Make it ten. Make it ten. Cause he's pretty healthy guy. Let's give him ten years. Nine thirty. That's nine hundred thirty thousand. I mean nine nine thousand. Okay, they're going to be bad. No, he said 10 months. 10 years. I want to give you more than nine months. 11,000. Canada had paid me 11,000, how much? 160. $11,160 for 10 years, and he has, unfortunately, he has expired. I have to pay Canada his beneficiary, $200,000. I have been holding money in my pocket. You know why? So they don't go around hard. That crocker ain't got your money. That crocker, he sit around here. Your money ain't there. Me, the cracker, has invested your money in the market. Me, the cracker, made it bet. That is the only way I can pay you $200,000. I cannot logically pay him $200,000 to his beneficiary. He's only paid me $11,160. See, this is why I try to tell y'all, I don't have a whole lot of friends. And the ones I do don't talk stupid. I don't have these dumb conversations. Y'all got friends, y'all talk about I wife over here talk. I said, hey, hey, hey. you don't know no better. There's no way logically to pay you the money unless I'm taking your money and I'm investing it and I'm making a profit. Insurance companies don't benefit by keeping money in the bank. They benefit by putting their money in the market. When they pay, they take it from the market. You know how much money I have to generate to pay him $200,000 if he died in one year? Did it make sense, y'all? Yes, 
Just cut people off when they talk to y'all. Don't, don't listen to these people. They really don't know what they're talking about. I, I, I don't have friends talking to me. Like, I don't have them dumb conversations. Y'all have friends, y'all have these conversations around. You say stuff, shut your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. Things happen for a reason because it's a bigger scale to you. The working man is just that. You just a slave. So you don't really even matter. You, you need low working totem pole people. This is how this system has to work. You need people on a big end. Oh, them rich crackers don't pay no tax. Oh, them crackers. Cracker don't pay no tax. Cracker, cracker done made all that money. Let me see. Cracker paid your benefits. Done matched your 401k. And gave you profit share. Cracker pay for the equipment. Cracker pay for the uniform. Cracker pay for workman comp. Cracker pay part of your taxes. First thing, Cracker done made $45 million profit. <laughs> that Cracker need to give me. That's why them UPL work again laid off. And I want to be there and see them too. Not logical for you to add me 50% of what I made when you didn't have nothing invested other than you brought your behind to work. How much of your check did you invest in the company? Absolutely none. Why would you be telling me I owe you some of my profit? We agreed on a wager. The only way I can keep you is I have to make a profit. All these stupid folks, general motor workers, you, you think it logical that I could pay every employee 50% increase? That, that's fine. Guess what a car going to cost? They're they gonna be fifty thousand dollars, man. That's gonna be that's for that's gonna be for a putt putt. Pickup trucks. My two thousand thirteen Avalanche I bought in two thousand thirteen was fifty thousand. That's with GM discount. Fifty thousand. You don't wanna know what they cost now. They double. Twenty three, they write double. Because you want more money. People don't realize, whenever a company give you more money, don't you know costs go up for them? People, they gave me a raise. Them crackers gave me 50 cents. And they done took 35 cents. Talking about some insurance. Because insurance goes up every year. Based on people working on, this is how these people don't realize. Insurance pay. Most of these people, they're not clever. Let me help y'all out. Don't have stupid come save these people, okay? They don't know they said they're workers. Okay, insurance pays out one million dollar lifetime. You get any ailment, they, mostly for how many didn't know it? You know what I'm saying? Well, look at the hand, look around the hands, look at the hands of these people, these grown people. Look, y'all, look, focus, 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 look, look. How many of y'all didn't know there's a one million dollar payout for insurance? That's total. So every time you go into the doctor, once you hit a million dollars, we no longer pay nothing. I get Candy, his wife. And his sick kid go to the hospital. They, one of them needed a kidney. That's 250. Then they got the treatments and everything that go behind there. They don't hit them in. And he want to know what's going on. Son, you're, you're only paying $300 some dollars a month. The company matching most of that. And he want to know why I stop at a million dollars. You even paid toward what I'm paying. Insurance ain't nothing but a rip off. Don't cry. Y'all see what the cost of this stuff is? The insurance company does not dictate the price of the hospital. You want to know why they charge you so much for this stuff and they ask where you can go to the store and buy? Well, why you didn't go to the store and buy some? It's because they have to make a profit because they got so many claims they write off. That's why the hospital shut down because y'all niggas don't pay. So they keep doing that right off, right off, right off. And the government said, that ain't on me. You need to collect your money. That's why they fought to push that everybody had to get insurance. So hospitals can get paid, you can bring costs down. But they so stupid. Damn crackle, they want us to get insurance. It's a trick. <laughs> That's what they say about you when you come in now. You're a trick. Yeah. You're going to lie, you ain't going to pay me. As soon as you got here and get away, I ain't going to get my money. How many of help y'all out with a life skill right now? Because there's so much you run your mouth about, you don't even know. You don't even live in a real world. You work on a job, so you don't even think. You always think somebody getting over. They're losing with you. Most of you don't even produce. <laughs> I pay you $25 an hour. You tell me let, me, let me get this straight. You tell me I can count for 59 minutes and 60 seconds that you're working. How much time are you working an hour? Let's be practical. Come on. How much time am I getting an hour? Just that one, how much is it? 30 minutes. So I lost 30. I got you for eight hours. 
So how much? So I'm paying you. I've actually probably got three and a half, four hour work out of you. And I paid you for eight. And guess what you say? The nigga stuff. I'm here, ain't it? And I'm saying, I wish you were gone. I'm just helping y'all out with business, how stuff works. Y'all always be on the take of stuff. You don't realize companies have to make it. First of all, you have to be able to survive. If a company you're working, what did this company do? How did this company exist? What's the product or what's the service of the company? So when the company is not producing enough of the product or not getting enough of the service, where is this going to leave you at, retard? You bathroom hiders. <laughs> I didn't know let the father. You got them crackers. Man, you right here busting your behind for these crackers. These crackers don't care about you. You're like, yeah, if I do what you do, it ain't gonna be long. Me, you, and them crackers are gonna be outside. The cracker done sat their money up. They can sell, they can fold. The government's gonna pay them. You're gonna be on the street. Don't listen to these dumb people. Every job I had, I worked. I ain't never listened to them dummies. Cause I know them dummies don't know how business works. When they're not getting a profit, how long do you think they're going to be able to keep you? Nobody sitting around no reserve money, pay nobody doing that. That's retarded. They the book told you you're supposed to be just. They ain't like that. That's a whole nother message. That's a message inside of a message. They don't want to know why folk don't want to hire you. Because I watch you. You ain't going to do nothing. Y'all don't realize companies lose more a lot of time than what they make in profit. You're just trying to keep looking and you get the right people who involved, who understand business, realize in order to pay you doing, doing, don't you know how to make money? Ain't you kissing up? That's how business works. When you sit from the end, all you do is complain and mom and grumble. You don't think about how does this, what is the, what is the business? What's the goal of the business? Well, I hope that helped y'all out. I don't expect to help but one or two. I've been with you. Most of you gonna still be the same person. And damn crackers. Get out of that, get that out of your head and just start understanding how things work. Just like who she told you, go in the go in the VR and work, whatever right, he said I pay it. See, this that's what I learned to do. Before I got to be a business owner, I learned how to work and I was diligent and I was a good worker. And you do what's right and you do what you do then it becomes a benefit. A lot of people try to jump into business. You're a terrible, I'm, 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 I already know, but most of y'all are terrible workers. So I know you'll never be a business owner. When you get one, you're gonna be too stupid and too sorry to do it, because you don't realize when you get a business, you'll put more time in that business than you would work in somebody else's business. Because your business is gonna, they're like, man, you know what I'm doing? I'm, I'm looking at quitting this and start my own. And like, so I can have more time. i like to see that one. Go show me how that works. You don't have more time trying to look at what you got to stay on top of. You realize, man, that been one of the easiest I thought it was. How these people build up to where people just come? People, that's, a, that's marketing. That's other stuff that you're not going to spend money and do or time. So I said, people don't realize everybody keep counting folk money. They got costs. There's costs associated with you making money. When you're just a worker, you just sit on your behind. These people just cut you a check. You don't care. You don't have a part. And your energy, I try to tell a lot of times, your energy, how you do things, it just destroy company. A lot of y'all, you the reason why company don't go further. You bring a terrible energy to it. It's a business. And you ain't working in nothing that you the only person doing it. So customer service is important. How you do stuff, stop worrying how you look. Man, bump that junk. They better be glad I came. Wish you had them. Because in order for it to be successful and be yourself, show yourself, first of all, you saw how he brought Yahushua straight down here and made him a lot. What he had to do? First of all, let's see how you do under leadership because you're going to be given leadership. Let me see how well you follow. Let me see how well you take orders. Let me see how well you serve before you start telling people to serve you. Everybody want to jump straight at serving, master, owner. How well you do serving? Man, I need to work. Listen, I work. When he was talking about work and three people, I can't, I prided myself on doing a job more than one man could do. I felt if you only did the job one man could do, you weren't even valuable. Really, that would tell. Man, I had to, listen. I had to clock people out. Listen, I come up. My this my dispatcher to leave. He hit me on the rail. He told me. He said, "Thomas Smith, call me from." He said, "Thomas Smith." He said, "Clean it up." I shoot up to Marietta. Listen, I had to start off in the morning time. I had to be working at six, six o'clock. We was in um working off of um I had to work for R and L Gator, working out six seventy five. When I take out, my first stop is in Chickamauga. Who know where Chickamauga at? 
What's that like about two or three miles from him? I'm hitting that Tennessee, right about Tennessee. I'm coming through Lafayette, Tryon, Menlo, Somerville, Rome. I hit, I hit Carterville. Unload, I load back up, fill up that trailer. I catch another guy, come out of Rome. I grab his trailer, see him in, take his trailer, go to Kennesaw. I hit Atwood, Kennesaw, Marriott. I clean up and I come back in. I be the last man. I knock up, they came in after me. I tell them, just go and go home. Give me your trailer. I fill up two trailers in the hair. Them sorry Joe couldn't even fill up one trailer. They were sorry joking. They didn't work. I was working for the man. But I looked if I'm gonna work, this is what you're gonna do. I came with doing food service. Everything was like this right here. When you get paid by the hour, you had to get it all. I got a truck that's slap loaded, you gotta get it all. And I was the man to get it done. We take it out here, it gotta get it all. So they give me something, the guy so sorry they couldn't get something delivered, they put it on my truck. I said, why this on my truck? He said, they, they said it got to come on. He said, he called, he said, put on Tunsman, it got to come on. I called them people. I said, I don't know what the other driver did. I said, they gonna come on. I said, I got one plan if it don't work. They said, what is it? I said, I'm gonna find a hill. I said, I'm gonna drive to the top of that hill fast as I can. I'm gonna slam on brake and go come out the back. <laughs> they be like, huh? I said, we getting it out. I just let them know. Either way it go, it's coming out from him. I said, I don't know what the other driver doing, but they told me it got to get off today. Whatever I had to do to get it off, I got it off. I delivered them tan the bed. I come in there, I put them in their house. The wife asked me the same question. They said, man, they said, do it work? I said, I'm going to be on it with you. I had, I had mine all my life. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I had it one little while. I took it to the house. She said, honey, she wanted, I said, what you doing? She said, I'm going to put on my bikini. I'm going to put it on see if it works. I said, I guarantee you when you get it, I'm going to be gone. I said, I won't be here. Your husband will pop in here. You ain't, not me standing here. A white woman in there casket with her drawers and panties on. I said, I won't be in here. <laughs> Tony, she wants to see if it works before I leave. I said, I won't be in here when you get back. <laughs> When that casket closed, I'm out the door. I'm off this street. That man come here. What that coon do? <laughs> no, 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 man. Got to go. But I'm just telling you, I, I was a hard worker. That's how I'm being honest. A lot of stuff I see, I, I, listen, sorry, lazy, slow moving, act like somebody got to tell you stuff. I was a thinker. That's why I, that's why I moved the way I move now. That before I was preaching, before all that stuff, I showed myself, you got to you be industrial. You got to be studious. Y'all, it take y'all too long to think before you do something. That scares me. And then you wonder why you ain't progressing. That's why you, you have negative energy because you hate people that's minded to go ahead and do what they got to do. I ain't got to stand here waiting nobody tell me to do something. That's crazy. I know it need to be done. Right. Why I'm sitting around waiting? Like Mushaw. When he saw a man being, he saw a man, saw a man being a fit, that's why he waited. He said, well, ain't nobody else said that. I got to wait till somebody tell me. He said, I look this way and that way. Anybody did nothing. He said, something need to be done. Right. Y'all young people, do that. Don't follow a lot of these people. Even your parents, let me hear, y'all want the truth about a lot of these folks? No, don't follow. They, they, ter they terrible leaders, just terribly. They, they think too long, they procrastinate too long, and they mumble and grumble about the system, and they don't realize you're a part of the system because you're not doing that to change the system. Y'all got it? It's one thing to dislike a system, but what are you doing to try to correct it? Y'all got me? I'm going to help y'all out. Run your mouth like these people and do nothing. You don't have to like it, but then work to change it to do something different. Don't just sit around and run your mouth. Otherwise, you just like everybody else. You got it? You'll succumb to it. You have to be willing to listen, use your head. Be a thinker. Just like you know your room. Every day you get up. What y'all get out? What y'all get out of? What's that place you sleep in? What's that called? Bed. A bed. So you get up. Why somebody gotta tell you to make up your bed? How, how what is this your if you go to bed tonight, this will be your first time doing it? How long you been doing it? So when the bed need to be made up? So when so why somebody gotta tell you to do it? Start being proactive. People that do what you do are people that are losers. Those are people who will never progress. You will never do anything because you're a loser. That's the only reason you do it. You're a loser. I tell you, you had a man tell you, you're a loser. You, don't, you can't think. You can't think. I was a thinker. If you're going to make a hit, you got to be a thinking man. The survive, life is beautiful if you know how to live it. You know why I'm miserable for them? They don't know how to live it. You say I'm complaining about life? Man, this thing killing me. I'm thinking about killing myself now. You know, that's a lot, right? I know how to live it. This the work, listen, this the ethnic people. It did one is this the worst of comedy y'all saying. Look at these people, look at them, look at them. Look at these folks. Raise your hand, did the worst of comedy y'all saying. Look at these people. Y'all see that? I tell you what, ain't stop me from doing nothing I want to do. Ain't stop me from doing nothing I want to do. Absolutely nothing I want to do ain't stop me. Worst economy we done seen ain't stop me one time. Go ahead and be a loser. Be a loser. 
it's going to always affect them because they're not proactive. They're not proactive. They're not aggressive. They got to wait. They got to sit around. They're just going to complain. They're going to do nothing to correct it. That's where you at. Y'all got it? Use your head. I'm just telling you, use your head. When you got a mind to do, people, listen, he'll put you in front and put you around people, be a benefit to you. Otherwise, you can do like them. Complain, 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 and they don't want to realize it. They the problem. They the problem. Y'all got it? Be proactive. Y'all got it? Come on, William. Let me see you for a second. Let me see. You like them glasses? You like them? Go ahead, check it out. Come, come, come. come. Chop, chop. They do help you out. You can see though, can't you? Can you tie your shoe with them? Let me see. Which shoe we gonna try? Why we pick that shoe? Why we pick that shoe? Why do we pick that shoe? If you untie that one, you're gonna have two untied. We just say how you going. What you looking at? You need to get your act together, Joker. Why the other one hanging down? Oh, no, no, don't mess with that one. Leave that one alone. Look at the other one over here. Other one, other foot. Back to the other foot. You saw that string hanging down? Why is it hanging down? You saw this string right here hanging down on the ground. So are we, are we okay with that? So what we need to do? We need to tie it where it get better. There you go. Why he do that? We come over here and get up this money. See, now I want to teach it. He learned it, but now he learned how to be sloppy. See, what y'all let him do, y'all let him be sloppy. He don't learn. Since it's tied, it's dragging the ground. That, that defies the purpose. That defies the purpose. So now we're going to work on neatness. We get him where he learned it. Now we're going to learn how to be proficient, do better. Otherwise, he's doing that's lazy. Y'all see that? Laser right here, that'll reflect later in his life. So we started now correctly. Like if you're going to take the time to do it, take the time to do it right. You're going to take the time to make it bad. Take the time. If they come in and had to tear it out and say I did it wrong, I've wasted my time. That makes no sense. I don't want y'all guys to just learn how to do something. Learn how to do it the correct way. Y'all got me? Why waste it? Look at that. That's time wasted. What do we do? We put a check up there yet? Okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing changed. Matter of fact, get two off. Come around. No, you come, no, come on the way around. You like that white boy shirt? Go ahead, don't worry about it. <laughs> Not miss with this. That's all right. I, mean, I, had a, I had a shirt like that too one time. You know that, William? You know that? Then my mama got a job. All right, they're going to stand. Give me a seat. Who the heck left?